and uh, oh my god, we're going live. It's happening right now. Oh my god, it's happening. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, there we go. Now it happened. Oh my god. That took longer than expected. I, I had to stretch it out. Stretch. As a person who is cool with the kids, mm. you're not missing much. Oh, okay. To, kids like, are annoying you have to sometimes. Accept more depth. True. Slowly. Stretch <laughs> it out. Stretch. I'm kidding. I'm 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 not cool to anybody. <laughs> I'm not cool Receiving at all. One additional inch at a time. Really, just. My wife just hit I'll... me after I said that. <laughs> that you, you need that to you're relax. not cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think she was upset by it. She, oh well. She likes a man with confidence. I'm really cool, honey. <laughs> just smacks him again. <laughs> uh, no, she gave me a little eyebrow lift. So I guess that's good. <laughs> As good as it's gonna get. Uh, mm. <laughs> meme and two people I hate. Oh, that's probably me and Mark. Hey, Swall. <laughs> also, ah. first get wrecked. Wow, James. You just wrecked everybody. Oh wrecked. Also, Chad, am I like really quiet? Just tell me. Tell me, and it's I'll so, go kill myself. It sounds. Oh, okay. Wow, that's. <laughs> got dark quick. It's the only solution. <laughs> the only solution. I mean, it sounds fine on my end, but I can obviously. Uh, not muted. <laughs> switch around. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You're really sexy. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take off my pants. Well, I think Meme, uh, Swall is happy that Meme is here. So that's that's good. That's good. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> metal drip purified uh, of metals in his body. I don't know. None of those the only power I have. <laughs> Too uh, much okay. iron in your cum. Uh, wow. It's been... Hang on. Uh, two minutes, and you already said come once. That's that yeah. must be a new well, record. I mean, you know, he 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 waited for the YouTube buffer time and then fired the shot, fired the come shot. Well, if you, you missed all the allusions to anal sex earlier, so I had to be a bit more obvious. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, I can see that. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh boy, I gave subtlety a chance. <laughs> subtlety <laughs> had its chance. <laughs> oh boy, remember. <laughs> Man of Steel. Oh shit! <laughs> that, that was a that was a I movie that happened. Find you. <laughs> I think the funniest thing is still. Wait, I think that was still Man of Steel. The the the, the skull vision. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he didn't fall for the skulls. <laughs> so, it's so, like, a, is so this funny. not a convincing argument for for Kryptonian supremacy? <laughs> Yeah, see, we got all these skulls. It's awesome. It's like, oh no, it's gonna. These evil. are all your friends, Clark. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh. So how's how, what's 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 going on? I mean, I'm 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 back. Obviously, I haven't been around for like one and a half weeks. Because first, I was on vacation. I was in Austria in the mountains. It was very nice. But one of my friends got sick, and then he infected all the other people we were with, including me. And uh, then I called in sick for the rest of the week. So I had a longer vacation, I guess. <laughs> Good mountain rona. Um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, well, as long as you threw the patient zero into Mount Doom, I did. Heal. I did. I did. He's not. He's 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 gone, man. He's gone killed him dead but yeah um i'm back now the i'm obviously gonna start streaming games again tomorrow as well because i have lots of dragon's dogma to play still <laughs> i'm very behind yeah. uh but that's gonna be my my days in the upcoming days well next to work of course you took so long on my new game plus two dragon's dogma two uh, I, I expected as much i'm on new game plus one of dragon's dogma Ooh. two I'm leveling up my magic archer. Yay. It's like the archer, but gayer. Uh, before we talk about monkey and lizard, need to show off some memes. Oh, I don't have them prepped. I mean, uh, I, I posted a picture of uh, my mountain adventures and also a meme picture of me doing a soy face and that got around. <laughs> and people were doing lots of memes. They were very funny, but I, I don't have them prepped or anything. I, I could do those on uh, <clears throat> maybe... Uh, on the stream tomorrow or whatever because it's it's quite a quite a quite a bit of memes <laughs> they're pretty good pretty funny memes uh we do enjoy memes around here we do i'm, I'm a big speaking of memes our guest today is meme repository 
Oh, th- hi, oh, wow. everybody. I didn't realize you were here. Who invited you? Oh, that was me. Oops. Uh, that was your mistake. It was. And a w- one I'll make multiple times more in the future. <laughs> well, I won't say no. I still need to send in a oh, fan art. Oh, your audience? It's sitting on my PC. I mean, you can, you can throw it in the Discord. Because, yes, I do have a Discord now. Uh, the link is <gasps> in the description. Uh, I'm going to soy jack everywhere. You can soy jack all over the place. It's crazy. Um, I just soy jacked in my pants. Oh, no. That's, nice. I don't even... I don't, you know what? I don't know how that's going to look. And I think that's okay with me. Well, I mean, would you prefer I soy jack naked? <laughs> is there any other way? Is that an MFing God of War hat? Uh, yeah, it's one of the only pieces of official merchandise I found of God of War on the internet. <laughs> And I found it on some third-party site. There's surprisingly little official merchandise for God of War. It's uh, it's actually baffling. Uh, but yeah, that's that, that is one. It, it it is. I need that hat. Google it. Maybe you'll find it as well. Uh, I I was just looking for merchandise at some point. I was like, I want some God of War stuff. Maybe a hat or something. And I did find one. Um, there's like three shirts on on the Sony website, but they're kind of shit. So. Uh, I think they made like a Nerf Leviathan axe that you can actually chuck at people. Did they? <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure I remember that happening. Otherwise, I dreamt it. But I, I don't have one. But mm. I remember thinking it was cool when I heard about it. They did. Oh, that's kind of fun. That's where like a comic or two. Oh, they. I think there's two official visual novels that I still need to buy. But I need Forgot to get. Forgot a war. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, kind shit. of it's uh, it's uh, I think it's uh, it's set like kind of kind of between the old and the new one at least one of them if I recall correctly. Hmm. When did they come out? Oh, a while ago. Uh, you can get them on Man. Amazon. I'm like, kind of wondering if I might have just spaced on that on my God of War History of Legendary franchise video because I did not know about these until right now. Oh yeah, I know there's, there's two of them from the same guy as well. <clears throat> um, I, did, I made it. I made it before Ragnarok came out though, mm-hmm. so I don't. I don't know if it was. Oh, they came out right before ago. 2018. Okay. Well, there you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, then I totally spaced on that. My bad, guys. Uh, one is set between is set between three and four, and the other one is a prequel to one. Okay. Well, yeah. there you go. That makes sense. I mean, do we need more prequels to God of War 1? Holy yes, shit. More. <laughs> nah, man, stop it. I want to play as baby well, need... Kratos. Although I guess, wait, Ghost yeah. of Sparta takes place between 1 and 2. Hmm. Mm. I want to see Kratos' childhood. I mean, that, probably I mean, could have a lot of... Ghost of Sparta. A lot of spear training with uh, Demos, apparently, probably. That's probably yeah, what you're going to yeah. do. Brotherly rivalry. A, um, an unfortunate birthmark for Demos. Can yeah. we have... Uh, a quick time event for Kratos breastfeeding. I hope so. I mean, is there any other way to do it? I actually <laughs> talked to JB Jaffe the other day, the guy who like made oh, yeah. God of War one. Well, he was Ooh. he had Colin Moriarty on his podcast, and they were talking about religion. And um, okay, uh, David Jaffe, I think, is is a very hard line atheist, like okay. to to the point that he thinks religious people are like actually less smart. Okay. And, and my <laughs> argument was kind of just against that. I'm just like, yeah, well, like, I'm agnostic too, but I also think there's a lot of like wisdom to be gained from religion. So, you know, it's kind of, you just have to think of it as stories that can teach you a lesson. But uh, he, he had started smoking weed at that point, And I, I don't think he's <laughs> as, uh, <laughs> I, I don't think, I don't think he's as um, much of a red eye Jedi as some of the people on this show right now. But um, yeah, so it, it, it's, it, I think I ended up making him uncomfortable though when I accidentally laughed inappropriately at something he said. <laughs> Fun. Yeah, I mean, there's lots lot to laugh times. about things he says, so I don't blame you. Well, I mean, he just, he said that the movie The Shack made him cry, S-H-A-C-K, and I thought he said Shaft. <laughs> 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 Shaft like, make, make, I me cry. That, like I thought, I thought he was kidding because, I, like, why would Shaft be a movie that makes you cry? I mean, it's not a bad movie, I guess. Like the, the one with Samuel Jackson and Christian Bale is all right. I don't At think the I've same seen time, that like, I wouldn't cry while watching it. Uh, but yeah, so the, that's the story of the time I talked to the guy who made God of War. Cool. It happened like a week ago. He doesn't like the new games. I think that people don't want to see that story, which is clearly not true, but you know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like it's I don't know. He's got he's got some opinions. 
Yeah, sure, sure does. Doesn't he also not do. think that Metroid Dread is good? Uh, like, yeah, it's yeah, bad I kind of take a something. shot at him in my Metroid video, actually. Like, really? I, I, yeah, I mean, That's and funny. you know, honestly, but I, it's not like I brought that up. But I mean, I guess if you asked me, have you ever made a joke about me in a video? I would have been honest, but. <laughs> yeah, Did no, you ever make no a joke about me on one of your little uh, videos and stuff? It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah like, it, it's not 100%. That, kind of, that comes up, and while like you're thinking, it's like, well, am I lying by omission, but not saying, hey, just so you know, I made fun of you. It's like, no, it's actually kind of weird to bring it up. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The internet. What a wild place. A wild, wild place. Oh, God. Wild. David, David Jaffe. I'm happy he's not involved in God of War anymore. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> might be for the best. I'll be honest. We wouldn't have gotten that story uh, otherwise. I, I feel like, oh boy. Uh, as maybe uh, every, anyone who's, who's interested, I did play the Stellar Blade de de demo, <laughs> dem demo while I was yeah. uh, sitting here being sick and stuff. And it's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I quite I enjoy like it. I like it a lot. And uh, we're probably yeah, gonna do fiddles. we're probably gonna do an episode uh, dedicated to Stellar Blade because I think there's 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 gonna be a pretty good game or if not we're gonna talk yeah. about it anyway. But uh, but that's uh, sorry, super meme, solid so far. This there? I just thought this meme's kind of low. Yeah, it's the one with the tittles. This is the one where yeah, people yeah, awesome. something to that effect. Yeah, but uh, as I'll as you know, right uh, my face. boobs are bad for you. Uh, at least that's what the internet is trying to tell me sometimes. And I don't believe I, I them. Tweeted, I tweeted my boss kill in the skin suit. So uh, I, I did nice. I did complete the demo with no sh no uh, shield. Noise. And uh, yeah, I fiddled around with the um, with getting some of the extra skill points you can get mm -hmm. and uh, putting together different combos. <clears throat> I'm now a lot better with the parry system as well. I, I think that game's got very good combat. It, uh, yeah, and it might end up being incredible if you keep on unlocking better abilities. I've enjoyed it quite a bit. I need to uh, go through the story again because I restarted it, and I think you need to actually have the boss beaten. Uh, yes, you do. <clears throat> and because it overwrites your save file, uh, at least in the demo, it's just like, yeah, you need to do it again. It's like, uh. I mean, it's not yeah, that long. Dude. It's going to be easy to do. And even if I don't, I don't really care that much. It's not a very long section to play through. I can still do the challenge stuff and whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, the challenge boss is good too. Yeah, they give you a lot of lot of stuff to uh, fuck around with. Uh, lots more, uh, lots of more mechanics and uh, skills, and even like uh, different uh, outfits you can check out. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's, it's a pretty good demo. Uh, just overall, it's a really solid demo to check shit out. It's pretty good. Quite liked it, and I I'm, I'm looking forward to play it. Probably gonna be playing that right after I I'm done with Dragon's Dogma. Poor Wind Waker. I start I I, do, I did one Wind Waker series like this is great. And it's like ah oh, damn I have to move on now. And since then it's like more and more games coming out. <laughs> I do want to play more Wind Waker. That game is awesome. I finished Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Nice. Didn't hate it, but um, yeah I think they they padded the the ending. The ending being where they like it's just after the Temple of the Ancients and. The forgotten city everybody so if, if you know what happens there it's a pretty like neutral spoiler in video games because everyone knows it but i'm not going to say it just so oh, i'm not the one but they milk the living hell out of that in this mm. game yeah <laughs> like, as well just points out there's also no rest for the wicked actually i talked to uh, uh with wolf about that game it's from the uh, makers of oh from yeah the Ori from, games. Uh, moon yeah moon yeah. studio i'm definitely going to be checking that out uh, oh yeah yeah oh my god can we get wolf on for that that'd be awesome I, I, I don't know if, he, if he's up for that. I mean, it would yeah, be we'll, awesome, we'll but I, I don't know. I'm going to force him back to the internet because he streamed twice. So. <laughs> Everyone played the Ori game. So Ori, Ori in the Blind Forest and Ori in the Will of the Wisps are both very, very good games. And that's the same studio who's going to be making No Rest for the, for yeah. the Wicked. Which is a Zelda-like, I believe. Like an old kind of top-down adventure game from what I've seen of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, there, there's, a, there's a little bit of, I think a little bit of gameplay you can see in the trailers, but yeah, look, it looks, it looks kind of fun, but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm optimistic. They, they've been delivering good stuff. Uh, so looking one forward guys, to that. One of the guys who works on that, I think actually follows me on Twitter cause he made AM2R, the like Metroid 2 remake that was kind of done in the style of Zero Mission. 
So mm. it's a pretty famous like Metroid fan game. It's kind of the most famous one, and um, yeah, and it's uh, he, he went on to be one of the devs on Ori in the Blind Forest, and then Will of the Wisps. So nice. I'm, I'm assuming he's probably still there. But nice. Oh, I also need to play more Hell Divers as well. But you were all I'm having fun on Hell Divers without me and your little groups that you all did without me. Hey, no, I, I was the fourth. I'm the fourth <laughs> wheel in that group, and I'm married to one of them. Leave <laughs> <laughs> it <even> that way. <laughs> yeah, listen, I need to so, shit talk yeah, people. Disperu, right. Disperu, uh, Wicked Virtue, and X-Ray Girl have a show on Saturdays, and they've taken yeah. to playing Hell Divers prior to the show, and um, I've been the fourth. Fun streams though. Noise. Sadly, Hell with Dyer's Bruise is only four players. <laughs> yeah. Take Very the hints, Metal. No, I refuse. <laughs> the group traded Mark for boobs, I understand. Mm-hmm. 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 I mm -hmm. do. I mean, I'd make that choice. <laughs> I have no friends, Metal, and I don't even have enough for the next Warbond that looks crazy good. I haven't even touched the Warbond that's currently out. I'm still missing 20 super credits to actually unlock it. Maybe I'll just keep I just got, it for the one that comes out. I got the Plasma Slugger, and it's um, it's pretty good. It's nice. on the new Battle Pass, the Cutting Edge one. Yeah. I, I briefly the, logged the in. The armors just, in that one look really cool, too. I briefly logged in to check shit out, and it's like, Major Order received, received. I was like, oh, now I have 250 points. Nice. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Ooh, we got a request for the Hellboy movies. I like the Hellboy movies. Oh, I don't re barely remember them. I think, actually, we might have been talking about it the other day, and I accidentally called the second one Hellboy in the Golden Circle. <laughs> and it's, it's, the, it's the Golden Army. Oh, so, oh yeah, I think I remember just, what you're saying. <laughs> we've just been covering, covering Kingsman movies. So. Oh, boy. Did you, did you play any of, the, any of those new games, meme, where we've just been... Uh, tucked away in the in the editing <laughs> mountains or what he said dungeon <laughs> editing mountains. Yeah, I, I like this it's so frustrating because i would have been done by now if i wasn't like so so like i was making really good progress and then i dared to apply the copyright shield and then everything went <laughs> oh no <laughs> and so it's it's just been trying to just 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 brute force my way through that motherfucker um oh boy that's it's annoying. been yeah, so I've got six episodes done. Um, episode six is like in the just copywriting stage at the moment. But uh, yeah, it, it's just been, yeah, I, I wanted to be done and working on my own videos again by now. <laughs> but uh, but it, it's, uh, uh, it's, still, it's still ongoing, but it, it is slow but steady progress. I will say that. Yeah. Um, slow but steady. So you so, were not allowed um, to not play sure what the video games, I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not allowed to play video games, not allowed to do... I've been, I have been. I got a new teapot, though, so I'm, I'm, I'm committed to becoming a tea snob. So that's 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 the kind of person I'm, I'm turning into. So mm -hmm. that's something. Also, uh, Re Rebel Moon is this month? Oh, fuck me. Fuck it. Oh, uh, I, I, <laughs> I I didn't see the first one. Or are we gonna have to cover Rebel Moon? No, I refuse. That 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 that, okay. that shit is so fucking boring, dude. I'm gonna watch it. I'll probably talk about it on my normal streams. But Jesus Christ, yeah, I'm, I'm are... comfortable with not covering that. No, Although don't do, bother. I'm... It's a fucking waste of time. It's so awful. <laughs> when I'm in Vegas, I think I'm gonna try to go see Monkey Man though, because that that movie does look pretty good. Yeah, I definitely wanna at least check it out. I know maybe I was we can... gonna go this weekend, but I couldn't leave my puppies. <laughs> no. Rebel Moon directors got fours of Snyder. Yeah, that oh, fuck. Dude, I started. I, I watched WrestleMania last night because I was just still awake and just had it on the side. And the the second I put it on, like the match ends, like, and here is a sneak peek of Rebel Moon Part Two. I was like, no, <laughs> I want to watch the wrestling. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to watch the wrestling. Then they throw that in my face. It made me sad. But yeah, uh, that's that's how it is. That's it. That's how it haunts you. It haunts you forever. And yeah, I'm probably gonna watch it and then talk about it on the stream. But I don't think I'm gonna want to talk or cover about it. Maybe it's gonna be a rando rand or something. We'll see. <laughs> <clears throat> People seem to like that one. That that that, that rando rand did pretty well on its own. Ah uh, yeah. I didn't realize I was talking for like forty minutes or something when I when I cut it out. I was like, wait, that was that long? Jesus. 
It's like, again, like, I realized, like, how does Chris Stockman do it? How does he do it so quick and say nothing? <laughs> I was just going for my thoughts and got to, like, 40, whatever. Uh, it's not really, so, you know what I mean. Like that uh, Frasier clip. He didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah. But are you not intrigued? I used to watch but Frasier a lot when I was a kid. Look at the moon. It rebels. Does it, though? <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then, uh, anyway, uh, I guess that's that. Actually, kind of makes me think, what happened to the girl from Rogue One? I haven't seen her in, like, anything since then. Somehow she <laughs> returned. I have no idea. I, I, have, <laughs> okay, I haven't seen Rogue One since it came out, so I don't even know which girl you're talking about. <laughs> the, the, you Felicity know, uh, Jones? Yeah, Felicity yes. Jones, that's it. Mm. What's she been in recently? Well, she got cucked because she was like Felicia Hardy in the Amazing Spider-Man films, and then oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, um, she was um, she seems to be consistently employed, just not in anything like very big budget. Oh okay, so uh, probably for, yeah, you know, they're probably just sticking with like more. I, I don't actually know anything about these films. They might be comedies, they might be dramas, they might be both. I don't I don't know. I, one of them is called On the Basis of Sex, so <laughs> take of that what you will. And at the same year, there was also a short film called Leading Lady Parts, so I, I mm. don't I don't know. I don't know. Well, well I mean, if you're going to have lady parts, you might as well have the ones in the lead. You know, you lead by the lady parts, you know. Ah. Oh man, that seems like it would be uncomfortable. That's called crab walking, my friend. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, talking about crabs, there's probably some in Hollow Earth. Yeah, that was the best segue I could come up, come up with. There you go. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm. I'm but happy I know the that name of, of the monster that tried to steal Kong's food because that monster was also in Godzilla vs Kong for like three seconds, and hmm. it became a fan favorite. Its name is Doug. Uh, 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 oh, Titanus okay. Doug is the scientific designation for oh, is, oh, is that a thing that stole the arm and just ate a crab thingy in the first in, in the yeah. one we was? God. Yeah. I hate that I actually made that connection now that you mention it. I, I've watched too much of this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But yeah, uh, we're going to talk about, obviously, Big Lizzo and uh, Lorge Monkey uh, today. And, uh, oh, God. Guys, this movie was really fucking bad. <laughs> I kind of yeah. hate it. I kind of hate how bad it is. But it's also funny bad in a lot of ways. Uh, the the, <laughs> the amount of human casualties that happen in this movie that don't get recognized is hilarious. Oh, yeah. It was the same, actually, in the previous one it was, that I yeah. watched the day I saw this one. So I did the Morbius Madam Web special for Godzilla versus Kong and then Godzilla Kong New Empire. It's, it's apparently that's how it's said. It's funny how many people die off screen and no one gives a shit. <laughs> Every, like, hey, everyone, everyone in, in Rio Kong. was probably fine. No, not really. <laughs> not yeah, really. Like, I mean, in the previous That's one, the every... second time Rio gets fucked in these films too. <laughs> That's the funny part. Is it? Because Ghidorah showed up in Rio in fucking King of the Monsters and started oh. lightning. Oh, everywhere. you're right. That wasn't Rio. <laughs> They just He's rebuilt and then just fucking four titans come out of the out of the water and like, oh god damn it! <laughs> oh no, big ice age time, ginger monkey. Oh, uh, not ginger monkey. It's uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's just there are humans in this, and I think you could just leave them out and nothing are changes there? for the yeah, most part. Like uh, yep. I, you know, honestly, if you left them out, the movie might get better, because like they're they're terrible. Yeah, they're, they're, there's they're nothing interesting old, going nothing on with burger. any of the humans in this movie at all. Uh, this, yeah, we we get into it throughout the movie, but I I don't th I I wasn't prepared for how crazy this monster verse is actually at the moment. Like, there's Hollow <laughs> Earth. There's weird tribes with gravity stuff going on with the. They can just they they can just make a Mothra apparently. I was just like, yeah, that one threw me off. 
that, that the, I thought it was like, oh, there's probably like a Mothra egg down there because that's the because Mothra is known for like this cycle of of death and rebirth and like there's the offspring yeah. that then becomes the new Mothra. But no, just Mothra just yeah <laughs> just uh... manifests. Also, if you liked uh, if 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 you liked Echo, man, do I have a treat for you? There's a deaf girl in here still. Yeah, it's the same one from the other movies. Bone up on your ASL. Gia. Up is your, your I liked her because she didn't speak. <laughs> 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 yeah, I guess that, that. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Um. Uh. Yeah. I don't know. There's things happening. Monster stuff going on. It's uh. It's uh, funny. That's my blurb. Uh, meme, what did you think of the big lizard movie? Kong? Yeah, so, like, <laughs> I don't even know how to put my thoughts into words uh, in a way that won't be clipped completely out of context. Because, <laughs> um, like, I had a lot of fun watching this film, but the writing's dog shit. Uh, like, it's like, uh, like, I had fun, but now I'm going to tear it to shreds because <laughs> a lot of the... The hearty guttural laughter I had was not probably <laughs> not actually it, knowing Adam Wingard. It might because I think it might have been intended because I think he he he's been on record to say that he's just kind of goofing off with these films. But at the same time, that doesn't really make it good. That just makes it self-aware. So it's um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's like really memey, and there's a lot of really silly silly stuff in a way that I was able to like vibe with. But man, like I can't really defend it as a film. I can only just say I was vibing um, in like a very like, I don't know. I have a very, I have a soft spot whenever there's like monsters doing monster shit on screen. I think it might just be like a childhood fixation or something. So mm. it, dare I call it a fetish oh, um, no. in its yeah. way. <laughs> I have a very big um fetish for this sort of thing which is why it's impressive that i was so bored with the last two jurassic world films because you know they had dinosaurs doing dinosaur stuff you think that'd be enough no no you can still fuck it up but you know king of the monsters fucked it up because every time monsters were doing monster stuff in that film they just kept cutting away to what the <laughs> humans are doing and it's like you're not your humans are not doing anything no your monsters are kind of doing something so, so it's like what are you doing um <laughs> This one is probably, you know, in terms of just raw monster content, probably has the most stuff going on. There's some interesting things to talk about in total isolation. So, like, this movie was only $135 million compared to, like, a $300 million Marvel film, yet there's probably, like, more VFX going on in here than some, some other films. So I, mm. it's interesting that this was, like, a very cost-effective film, which is interesting in, like, the whole VFX conversation but this is also a very awkwardly placed film because we just got a big reminder of how good godzilla can be in a well-written <laughs> yep. context yeah. a few months ago yeah <laughs> so it's like uh it, it, it's very very like awkward in that in that respect so i'm so you know i had fun but now i'm going to tear it to pieces uh -huh. um while also just talking about some stuff that made me giggle um like uh, when kong like uh, used a small child as a baseball bat Dude, I saw that clip on uh, on online on Twitter and I was like, oh, that's a funny meme that someone made. And then it happened in the movie. I was like, no way. <laughs> not, no fucking way. Oh, I love it. I, I, I just need that on loop for the rest of time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how we be vibing. That's how we be vibing. Also, there was actually there was a weird, some of this film, not in like a writing sense, but just in like, there were, just, there were parts in this film this is like the first time they've had the confidence to just let monster scenes just kind of yeah. exist without any human commentary and i think there was like certain points where they were trying to almost do like kong as kratos in the new mm -hmm. god of war games and i was like maybe we should have gotten more of that and less of the human shit i think i would have just liked to see kong and child like um eat i don't know eaten um wolf things together i don't right. know um, <laughs> uh, so that's my review is like it's really bad but i vibed <laughs> but i vibed <laughs> yeah i i was i was fighting falling asleep the entire time i was in the theater i didn't so i saw the whole movie good <laughs> but, uh, i i don't know that i really had much of a vibe there were like maybe one or two action scenes that were like oh, i guess that was kind of cool but i also thought the effects sort of looked like shit 
Mm. So it like it seemed like it was a very cartoony looking movie. Like it didn't. Oh, one hundred percent. It was like a Saturday morning thing. Yeah, like, it, but that's the thing. Like this, in, this universe kind of got started with a very, like, gritty kind of realistic toned Godzilla movie, and then has just progressively turned into parody, I guess, almost. Because I mean, it's very I, clear that they was... want this to be like the MCU of monster movies, like MCU but with kaiju's, and I don't know that that works. I, I've always, I've constantly been being reminded of a Marvel movie while I was watching this. I felt like I was mm -hmm. watching a Marvel movie with a Kong and Godzilla skin on it. <laughs> That's what I was thinking most most of the time. Because uh, it's very, it's it's weird. And there's like bit, there's lots of bits where it's like, I don't, why why are we doing this? This feels weird. But uh, we can just start at the top unless uh sorry i didn't want to interrupt you mark if you weren't oh no, no no oh no no i i i just i didn't yeah movie not good movie not good okay well there you go <laughs> <laughs> that, that works for me um but yeah we're just gonna start from the start i'm good with words uh and it's just it, it does start that's three starts four now uh with Kong kind of running around uh, in Hollow Earth, which I wasn't even aware that was a thing at the time, because I watched the one before <laughs> this, uh, after I watched the uh, Godzilla X Kong, which apparently the X is silent, uh, Mark said earlier, which is, no, uh, meme I don't said know. that. Uh, yeah, I was, I was, I was like, like okay. I, I just, I compared it to Spy Family and Hunter Hunter, right, like right. animes that have an X in the middle of the title. And uh, I was like a little bit when when it starts like oh, uh, this just it's just Kong running around doing Kong stuff. He's just look at the, the thing is he's looking for his people. That's like, that was like the whole point of the movie before this. They they got him into the Hollow Earth uh, in hopes for him to have a well his own territory and also hopefully find some of his own like some other apes and monkeys and stuff. Uh, but he's just running away from some predators here at the time. They corner him, but it's actually a trap. I don't know if that was on purpose by Kong, if he built that thing, or if it just the thing yeah, just broke. I think broke. the implication is that he's built traps, like um, yeah. in, in different places, because he's uh, got the big primate brain. But... Right. Yeah. And then they just fall through the floor into a sp into spikes, and he, he grabs one, rips it apart. And now he's green monster group covering him. And he goes like, ah, oh, big monkey. Yeah, I'm Kong. Sensor, sensor friendly monster group. Uh, it's all green. It's green Guppenheimers. <laughs> uh, Doesn't count if it's green. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay. I'm, 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 I'm okay with this. That's fine. And then he goes like, ugh, ew. I'm full of goop. And goes like, this. And I was like, oh, we're quipping now with the monsters. Please kill me. <laughs> <laughs> because he, he, he like uh, shakes off his arms from the goop he's like Ugh, and then we see him go into a waterfall and just kind of wash himself off and i was like okay uh but then he hears a, a, a kong noise another kong noise but it's just some dickhead little critter making a kong noise it's like a weird frog thingy that uh, i guess mi is mimicking kong's scream it's just rude, I think, of the critter. I don't know. It's very rude. But he was like, yo, there's the homie. You can hang out and do monkey things together. But it's just a weird frog thingy. <laughs> fringy stop. No, no, it wasn't fringy. It was just a... <laughs> it's fringy's fault. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I was like, okay, yeah. The fring mimic. And at this point, I was like, man... What a stark contrast to minus one. <laughs> it's just, yeah. <laughs> it's already so so much more comic. I was like, okay, we're we're in for something very different, which I expected. But man, it started quick. But it just go like, oh god, it's like gross. And then yeah, the well, humans it's start talking. Yeah, go ahead. It's not fair to compare this movie to minus one. It it is impossible to forget that minus one exists, though. Especially oh, yeah. while you're watching this movie. <laughs> oh man. I wish I could have watched Minus One instead, because that movie is awesome. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. That would be nice. And then the humans start talking, and the first thing they say, uh, I mean, it's Eileen. She, she's she been here for a while uh, in those movies. She's like the head of the 
research part of for kong or whatever they call it it's kind of weird we go into this uh, their weird organization thingy and how it's apparently structured which doesn't make a lick of sense to me um and she says for most of human civilization we believe that life can only exist on the surface of the planet i was like hmm i'm pretty sure <laughs> sin since unga bunga times we've been hunting fish in the water yeah <laughs> it's like just the immediate <laughs> thought was like okay there's lots of what, what about moles and, and and worms and 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 all the other things that live in the earth I was like, wow, you said two sentences that I already hate you <laughs> because you're stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the thing is, what they probably were trying to say is, oh, we don't believe there's like a whole ecosystem below the earth in like a hollowed out thing, you know? Like there's like a whole different planet basically inside our planet. I think that's what they were going for, but the way they phrased it was really fucking stupid. <laughs> Uh, and then she she follows up with him, makes you wonder what else were we wrong about? And I was like, I don't know, maybe giving you this job because you clearly not. You're not aware of fish, lady. Yeah, he's <laughs> clearly not qualified for this. Oh, it's just it's just like first sentence or first sec first or second sentence. I was like, Jesus, I'm already not on board anymore. You lost me <laughs> quick. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is when uh, this is when I started getting, well, this is when I started uh, getting <laughs> DMs from Metal. But I wasn't on Discord to 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 hold his hand. Unfortunately, I was deep in the in the editing bay, so he got to enjoy this alone. <laughs> oh yeah, the, to see it like twelve hours. When they later. started talking about Hollow, I was like, oh, I need to watch the other one because I feel like I'm missing lots of context. I was half expecting there wasn't any context, and it just said it. Because I, I know they call it a monster verse, but I'll be honest, when they said it's a monster verse, I didn't think they mean it. You know, they just call it a monster verse, <laughs> but it's not connected, actually. <laughs> well, they, they, uh, they, they committed. Uh, yeah, apparently they did, but it's just, yeah. But yeah, Hollow Earth, that was found uh, in the other movies, and they went into it for the first time in, the, in uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. Unless that happened, well, they tried before, but they got ripped apart or something. It's kind of weird. Yeah, the they first said time we see it is in the other one, but they yeah. established its existence in Skull Island. They actually set up some rules in Godzilla vs. Kong that don't really apply here anymore later in the movie, which is kind of interesting, because I'm pretty sure they just forgot that's a thing. Uh, but, yeah... Then they also say, or she says, we have only mapped out 5% of the hollow earth. And 10 seconds later, she also says, Kong was searching for more of his kind he will, that he will probably never find. And I was like, you just said you only mapped out 5%. Like, how the fuck do you even, how would you know that? They might be somewhere in the other 95% of the stuff you haven't checked out yet. And also, I've seen the trailer. <laughs> I know you're lying. Lol. Yeah. Uh... Uh, what about what else was going on? Oh yeah, Godzilla's territory. They, they tell us that now Godzilla's territory is on the surface, Kong is below, and as long as they don't meet, we have nothing to worry about. I will say this phrase lots of times during the stream because she says there's nothing to worry about, and we should also be happy Kong fights the battles we can't, and nope. also Can Godzilla. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's kind of both, actually, but I think in this case, it's good stuff. I think I mistyped here. Um, and then he fights Spider. It, it's like, it cuts away. <laughs> Godzilla, there's like a big spider squid monster. In Rome. <laughs> in Rome. And They'd be Roman. <laughs> I just need to laugh immediately, because the way they, it's cut is great. It's like, there's nothing to worry about, blah, 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 blah. And then the next scene is Godzilla fighting this big squid monster in Rome, destroying a fuck ton of buildings, killing thousands yeah, of people. it's so weird. <laughs> because they just sprint towards each other in the city without any care in the world. And like, he blasts the thing into the ground with his laser, and it splutters bug squid goop everywhere. It's just a fucking horrible <laughs> mess. Dude, I don't want to live in this universe of Earth. It's like a nightmare. There could be yeah, titans yeah, at worst, any point. Worst version of Earth. You just, like, you just, and then he sleeps in the Colosseum. 
you, you, yeah, uh, I, thought, I thought that was kind of adorable. You know, that was adorable. And it means I, want, I want to get like a little coliseum thing for my cats now. <laughs> Italy, Italy has now officially claimed both Godzilla and Tifa. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, you, you're just not safe in, in, on this earth. Like, I, I would, I, I didn't want to be in this universe. You could just chill out, and all of a sudden, oh, Godzilla is gonna fight this monster here. He's gonna help us, guys. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's just a lot of destruction. <laughs> I, I want yeah, to like a... have a film that's like from like a monster forecast station, <laughs> like in <laughs> this like universe. Like a weather station. Every time. Yeah, there was actually like a Godzilla film that had that uh, like that sort of thing. Like, I think it was Godzilla 2000. And they had to just track Godzilla's movements, and then it's like, what's the Godzilla forecast for today? Oh, it's gonna approach this city. Everyone evacuates now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Right, and yeah, he sleeps in the Coliseum. So yeah, there's a lot of lots of dead people already, and. Uh, it's just really funny because we then go back to their, um, I think it's the Mon Monarch Station or whatever they call their station. Uh, I'm a bit, I'm a bit confused about the the structure. Like, are they with Monarch or is Monarch someone else? Um, I think it's all Monarch. From okay. what I remember, but I've only watched the film once, so maybe there's details. Well, Monarch has been mentioned in the other ones. It's like the big organization. I'm pretty sure. In the previous one, though, they introduced that other evil Apex. company that like makes yeah Apex that makes Mecha Godzilla. Oh, oh yeah, that's uh, like the cybernetics company yeah, that, that uh, made the, Mecha Godzilla. That's their own thing. Uh, that movie was really stupid too. Yeah. By the way, I, I'm I'm glad we don't talk about both of them because we'll be here for a while. <laughs> I'm kind of happy I watched the previous one just because I would have been so fucking lost by Hollow Earth. At the oh, I was. The I was like, like, yeah, no, I can only imagine because it was the only reason I was happy that I had watched that one because I was sitting in the new one and the second Kong swinging around Hollow Earth, I'm just like, I would be so confused. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> um. But yeah, now the... they're inside a halo. But it's in, inside the planet, and it has light, like there's a sun in there. Yeah, I don't yeah. get it. It's like a, yeah. it's, it's a Hollow Earth is a really weird place. Really, you you can see they have like like kind of mapped out uh, in the other one, and uh, apparently instead of like the <laughs> instead of having an inner core in the Earth, there's just it's just hollow, and there's like a whole place and ecosystem going on with like titans and more monkeys and civilizations and stuff i was like okay are we even gonna are we even gonna talk about how, what that means for earth and it's you know place in space and how it moves around better Look, they had, like, a throwaway line in one of the previous films saying oh everything we know is wrong anyway monsters <laughs> anyway monsters <laughs> oh god yeah that was probably it uh but now that uh, Godzilla is back sleeping, uh, <laughs> we we just see uh, Eileen and the, the other boss lady, wh wh whatever her name is, uh, talk about the detail Italian military has been complaining uh, to this organization uh, because apparently they are in charge of Godzilla and Kong or whatever. Uh, <laughs> she just says, tell them if it weren't for Godzilla, the whole world would have been flattened. And they should find another scapegoat. I was like, dude, you can't say that. scapegoat's a word for it. So many people died, and she's angry at the military for being angry. <laughs> it's just, what are we doing? It's so funny because she's constantly worried about her dumbass deaf child. And it's, I'm going to uh, grab something from a little bit further. She's like, have some respect. Those people had families. It's like, lady, you didn't give a shit about anyone in Italy or anywhere else. But these people, they had families down here. She's so such a hypocrite. Well, think, it's funny. Well, what's interesting to me is that in this universe, they actually do have a way of luring Godzilla away from cities if they need to, because they have that like orca device. So, oh, right. So they're just yeah. choosing to let him sleep in the Colosseum. Because like whatever, <laughs> oh, it's bad. Well, I guess they just saw him like, oh look, he's he's so cute in there. He's all snuggled. You know, up I can't blame them. I kind of want to give him a little scrooch on his little schnauzer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't you know a colossal monster. 
And yeah, if anyone is in chat is wondering, no, we will never talk about any of the casualties in the cities. And holy shit, there's a lot of them. Uh, I will point them <laughs> out every time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I remember in like I sorry I know we won't mention this movie too much, but in Godzilla vs Kong, there are scenes where it's like POV from inside office buildings in Hong Kong, mm. and then like a second later, that building just totally destroyed. So I'm like, what? oh yeah, <laughs> like they're really not dealing with the fact that like millions of people are dying in this scene here. Hong Kong is getting fucked no. up in the movie. So many buildings and everything getting destroyed. Um, uh, but then they talk about uh, some scan fleems that have been happening that they've been picking up, but they don't even know what's going on. But they see that Godzilla is a sleepy boy. They call him an angry baby. It's like, yes. Uh, oh, then we uh, <laughs> see. I, I didn't even remember Gia. I just written down. We see some child called Gia because <laughs> I didn't remember her. But uh, she's like the the the, the child uh, Eileen picked up from Skull Island when the tribe got wrecked by the weird storm that happened there. Uh, she's like in school and has having nightmares, and apparently is drawing claw. It looked like claws at first. I was like, why is she drawing claws everywhere? Uh, oh my god, you just reminded me of that really. <laughs> I just remember, I think my brain had repressed the 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 thing she is vibing with, the the signals. Oh yeah, because she <laughs> she she gets like telepathic signals by uh spoilers, another tribe on the bottom, which is actually the same tribe, but that's the ones that live below earth or in hollow earth and not on skull islands or whatever. Uh but yeah, and, but the, and she's like in the exact same like waveforms and everything is like the military equipment is detecting and it's <laughs> in the exact same configuration. Oh yeah, and, yeah. She, and she draws it in her sleep. <laughs> oh, she starts getting visions on the, in the waveforms. <laughs> yeah, this movie really leans into the having a girl who is the key to everything trope. Yes. And man, is she a key? <laughs> she is, uh, wow. She's very, uh, important, actually. Uh, <clears throat> so she has, like, nightmares or falls asleep or, or hallucinations, visions, whatever you want to call them. And it's like, Gio, you go get up, blah, 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 blah. And she just, like, scribbled all the things on the, on the table, and I, I lean picks her up and is like yo what's wrong but they all do like hand gestures uh what was it A asl as the as the uh the term for the yeah yeah American um, sign language. yeah she's yeah. signing she's um yeah she's uh what, there's a specific hand sign uh, signing deaf people what is there an official term ASL. Just signing ASL. Yeah. just sign language yeah. or just American sign language, sign language. Yeah. <clears throat> um yeah so uh, it's like well something's like i don't know something's up i was just it's with me i have weird dreams and she gets like a paper with all these signs just like that's weird anyway this is definitely not going to be uh, important for the story so i'll look at this later uh but she's uh also she's like oh, i'm worried about kong because they have like some weird connection since the last movie because they could always talk to each other. Oh yeah, Kong can do sign language, by the way, in case you didn't know that. I didn't know that. I was confused when it happened, but that's something established in the movie yeah, before this. The, in the previous movie, too. Kong can do... Yeah. Uh, they just rip it right out of Congo. Sign language. Yeah. It's like, Amy, good, gorilla. Mm -hmm. uh, then we go to their home, and for some reason, Aline is listening to the destruction story of the tribe, of the girl that she took in as a daughter now. I don't know why she was listening to it, except the audience needed to know or be reminded that happened. She's like, oh, the tribe was destroyed by the uh, storm of the one titan that appeared, then they get annihilated, but she survived as the only one. I'm like, okay, I don't know why you listen to that, but okay th thanks for the incredible exposition um 
And then she looks at the drawings like, wait a second, this looks like the graph of the interference. <laughs> exactly the same. <laughs> it's not even like if you like run it through like multiple levels of translation, it comes up the same. It's like literally the same waveform and everything. It's exactly the same. <clears throat> and, and then when like, and, and it gets even weirder because later on when they're like going into the hollow earth, like, the signal comes back again, mm -hmm. and it, like, distorts the monitors into the same waveform, yep. even though I'm yep. pretty sure that's not the equipment designed for that. So no. That, no. Oh, it's just like, it's like it takes all the code, and the code forms the waveform on the <laughs> monitor. Yeah. Oh, it's beautifully, it's beautifully retarded. Beautifully retarded. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's... Oh, God. Because I thought it would be... It's like claws, and it's like, oh, something is uh, going to attack Kong with claws. I was like, no, it's a distress signal. It's like, okay. Um, And then what she sees is like, oh, wow, uh, that's a thing now. Uh, <laughs> it's... Uh, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... Put this into words because it's so weird instead of going to uh to any of her colleagues or whatever we cut to bernie the guy the, the black guy from the first movie that was also kind of responsible for taking on mecha godzilla at least they say that but that's not true at all he defeated mecha godzilla with whiskey no wait that was his whiskey was the thing that defeated yeah mecha he was godzilla, just there not... yeah <laughs> I, actually it was the 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 chubby child who did it because yeah, he, he, he was about to... He was trying to Firefish. hack it. It's ugh, That scene was so fucking stupid as well. I might as well talk about it really quick. I totally forgot <clears throat> about that character. So Yeah, because those three go their little adventure and somehow land in Hong Kong through this mono monorail that starts in America, apparently. But these Apex people have like crazy technology. So they sneak around in the Hong Kong facility unseen for the most part like just three random fuckers you know two children well and... the one of them is constantly talking one of them like, is constantly he, talking he won't shut up at all so it's like dude are you guys sneaking around a place while you're walking around loudly exclaiming yeah. the secrets of that place yeah who it's... wrote you <laughs> yeah no one competent is that's that's for sure so they just go around and they end up in the <clears throat> like shit gets blown up and they end up in the in the room that uh, uh transmits the data to uh, mecha godzilla which is ha it starts as a pi it starts with a pilot but they use the the weird energy they find in hollow earth and for some reason that overloads mecha godzilla and then it starts acting on its own somehow i think the idea is they use it's because of the uh Ghidorah head and this is the... No, no, Mecha Godzilla is not in this one. I'm talking about the one before this because I just thought about that scene was really stupid. And uh, the 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 little chubby kid is like, I'm gonna try to hack it. And then the more the scene goes on, it's like, I actually don't know how to hack. I just download videos uh, on the internet, and I took an HTML class in school. It's like, what the fuck? What? Have you just been typing random words into the password? thingy until it locked itself off <laughs> it's okay and then bernie is just standing there and his thing is he has like a they hint at like a tragic past where his his wife died and he has like a like a pistol hol holster but instead of a gun he has like a like a shot of whiskey in there or like a like a flask of whiskey and he's like well we're gonna die now and his thing is he if, if he's gonna drink that that means he he lost hope and he's gonna die soon or whatever and the, the chubby is like oh th i can use this to just pour that into the air thingies like the the cool the air cooler in uh, the, of the fucking pc and then it breaks and that gives them a little bit of time and them i mean kong and godzilla to defeat mecha godzilla it was what <laughs> I'm having a headache. It was hooked up to his, it to was his such a stretch. Like, specifically, it only stops his tail weapon for some right. reason. Right, Mechagodzilla is still in the fight. He still got it, but no, he doesn't have his blender. <laughs> his blender, his tail <sighs> blender, uh, and okay. it's really, it's really it's stupid really because first, like, it should be highlighted. Eileen and Bernie don't really talk in the in that last movie. She's just aware of him, and for some reason now, and this is why I even bring bring up the other movie. 
He says, I was an integral part of stopping Mechagodzilla, but no one took me in. Uh, I was like, okay. Well, well you were in the pipeline, <clears throat> but um, integral... You, you were standing there and had whiskey on you that they could pour on the PC to break it. It's yeah. not like he did anything smart, which is weird because in this movie, he's like portrayed as like, oh, look, I can just analyze this and I know all these things. Like, okay, but that wasn't you in the... When's the last time any of them hit a bathroom anyways? They could have just pissed in the vent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is true. That is true. Uh, I think this film would have been much, much more um, enjoyable if we just, if we just left Conspiracy Man um, at, at the vet. Oh my um, God. Yeah. Pretty much, but yeah, uh, <clears throat> they brought him back in this one. That's what, that's what kills me. It's like you, you could have just not had him in the movie, and they go out of their <laughs> way to put him in it. This could have, this could have been the adventures of Kaiju Dentist. Damn it! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, someone in chat just uh, points out. Yeah, Quince remembers mean... Godzilla blowing a hole from Japan to the center of the earth. Yeah, that was from Hong Kong. Uh, but yes. Which is funny because they have all these weird jump gates, but there's currently a hole in Hong Kong they can just use without any that trouble. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> which I would have I brought up. I don't know how the hollow. Oh, sorry. Oh, which I would have brought up uh, later. Uh, it's just uh, it's silly. Yeah. Well, well, this is the thing that that like, I don't know how these portal systems are supposed to work because it implies other dimensions when really it's just like they're going down into. A different ge geographical yeah location so it's like I mean, is it why, why is there even a portal divide earth? there like I, I don't know is it that they're they're teleporting through solid earth and that's why they need like a wormhole i i don't know i don't i don't know, I, I don't know. that's um yeah the way they portray it with the whole flashing lights i always feel like we go to another universe i was un actually on the assumption for a while it's like are we just teleporting somewhere else like this is not even an earth right <laughs> but, uh, but no, this is uh, uh, it's stupid. It's stupid. Do you remember how Mechagodzilla ha laughs in the last film? Did he laugh in there? I kind of checked. I, I was yeah, just yeah. having it on the I, side, I, I, so I, I wasn't paying super attention. I'm I wanted... going to recreate this for you right now, Metal. Oh. This is because I've watched this scene about fifty times um, because I'm insane. So, so he bursts out of the mountain and then he like shoots his laser and it like it, like just cleaves um, Hong Kong in half. And then he looks directly into the camera and goes ha ha ha, <laughs> and then like starts fucking everything up and shooting missiles everywhere. And then he starts and then he grabs. Godzilla and starts shoving Godzilla into buildings and then he, they like do beam clash and then he shoves him down that's and that was Godzilla versus Kong that, yeah that was that, that's yeah that's pretty pretty accurate how did, I, I don't know how I directed the Death Note Netflix film everybody oh good yes oh good um but yeah Eileen's idea after realizing wow that drawing looks exactly like the graph I saw earlier today Let's go to this weird conspiracy podcast man from the other movie because he is gonna believe me, which he probably would believe you. But she's like, I know you believe me and know how this works, so uh, no one else would, is gonna believe me. It's like, I, are you not even gonna try? Because the whole thing was they saw a weird thing and they don't know what it is. Like, might as well give them all the information. But they just give this information later in a little bit after they agree to do the thing. It's, uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, yeah, he's there. There's like, hey, uh, can you do this thing? It's like, uh, yeah, but only if we can do this thing and I'm allowed to join you and be part of the team. Because even though I was the, 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 uh, was an integral part of taking down Mechagodzilla, which he wasn't, they didn't take me in and I couldn't even release all the, the stuff I found because they didn't allow me or something. And now I'm losing subscribers because they think I'm lying. He's all about subscribers and his podcast and stuff. He's really cringe. Uh, yeah, because the, 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 nothing has been acknowledged and he lost subscribers or something. It's a um, chore. And yeah, it's like, oh, I'll help you find out more about these interferences, but uh, I will only help you if I get to go to the Hollow Earth Station because it's good for my blog. 
I was cringing out of my mind every time he was talking. I hate him so much. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm Wait. going to get all the views. Yeah. Oh, I just remember something. So there's a fucking... Apparently he was getting trolled by someone called, like, Ghidorah Stan 69 or something. And I'm just like, there's someone who's, like, unironically in this universe, a fan of King Ghidorah. Oh, the, the, yeah, he the, does the, say the, that. The, the, he talks, yeah, he talks about like, oh, destroyed. there's also these trolls. They're really annoying, especially this one Ghidorah, as you, as you said, guy. And it's like, oh, Jesus. It's like this like, internet talk. I mean, it's it's like internet talk written by people who don't understand yeah. the internet. Like, it, it's, I don't know. Oh, God, he's such a terrible character. I feel, like, I almost feel like I can't talk about it because I feel like I'm going to be mean. <clears throat> Wait to the mo to the movie? Yeah, of course. No, like like to the characters and stuff like that. Like to the actors. Oh yeah, no, not the actors, gonna, uh, the characters. I don't know the actors. I mean, they're they're probably lovely yeah, people. I mean, but that's they... fair. But like just <laughs> just I mean, how annoyed I was by having the podcaster dude in the movie at all, yeah. and the fact that he's in two of them back to back that I watched back to back, which granted was my fault. Mm -hmm. And just every moment he's on screen, I'm just like, oh, can this guy please get eaten by something, please? Like I would. I would I would love it if he just was not there anymore. Ghidorah stands. And not I would love the movie. Something. I would just yeah. I would love the fact that he would no longer be there. Yeah. Um. But uh oh no, we we Titan alert. Uh, Eileen needs to go. Uh, he's like, well, help me finding the things, and I'll get you whatever you 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 uh, you want. I promise. Which is like sure. Uh. So here's where I got a bit confused first. They did Titan Alert and say Kong is a the Godzilla is on the move. It's like, oh, is that the Titan Alert or is that something else? Was no, it's like something completely different. It just it gets a bit confusing <clears throat> because they do the Titan Alert, say Godzilla is on the move, and then also Kong, uh, which I didn't I didn't say that earlier. Kong has like a toothache. He has like ouchy tooth, so yeah, he needs to get get that fixed. So all of this is gonna is, is happening at the same time. Titan alert! Godzilla's on the move because of the Titan, I assume. Uh, obviously, Godzilla is on the uh, on the move, which means he's destroying just more shit by just walking around and swimming and flooding homes and everything. But man, we should be happy he's around. Um, <laughs> uh, and at the same time, Kong comes out of. Uh, the fucking water hole that is also a teleport now. I don't know if that was actually the uh, Rio de Janeiro one they they used. I'm not sure, but it's like at the water, so I think it's the one. I, w I would have need to double check. I, I, I'm not sure. I, I think um, they just established it was a bunch of portals they hadn't discovered before, okay, and okay. one of those was R Rio. So the, I think the one that Kong came out of was just one of the established okay, okay. Hollow Earth ones. Because I don't yeah. remember that being like a city, so I wasn't sure. But yeah, it's prob you're probably right. It's like the another one they found. Um, and he's like, ow, my two thirds. And then they uh, replace the tooth with a metal one, which is apparently a thing they can do. I, I don't know. I, maybe, maybe they have. Oh, like... they, I just love the yeah. I just love the implication, like because the guy they get is he he talks as Trapper, if yeah. um yeah yeah he talks as if uh, this is his job that his job is just to to fix up kaiju's and it's like oh you're you're, you're like a vet but for like giant monsters yeah. Why aren't we following this person? I want to know the logistics yeah. behind your 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 Titan veterinarian service, yeah. my friend. <laughs> well, they're like, we want a Star Lord type character in the movie, and how can we do that? I guess I don't know. We'll make him a vet. Yeah, but he's like, oh, I got this, and then I think they sedate him, and then they just rip out the tooth and put like a metal one in there, which fits perfectly. So it's, I'm I'm just like, I guess they can do that. They fed Kong in captivity for while so maybe they did that it's really weird the, the, yeah the whole world building of the of the monsterverse is kind of fucked i just just so weird because when <laughs> when in the other movie that apex which had like all these crazy advanced technologies going on they have like little spider bots that can take samples and ships and big fuck off monorails that go across the whole world apparently but they're not around anymore. They're not even in this movie. I mean, they might still be around, but the boss man got slashed by Mechagodzilla because he was evil, so he had to die. 
Uh, yeah, that's super weird. Like, actually, that, the weird thing about Mechagodzilla in the last film is that the pilot that got fucking lobotomized was apparently the son of, like, Ken Watanabe's character from the first two Godzilla films, but there's not really oh, much... Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, because if you because the last names are the same. Oh. Um, so huh, there's the notice. implication there, but they uh. don't really do anything with it. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. I, I wouldn't have known had you not told me. Yeah. Weird. Uh, but uh, yeah, apparently that's a whole thing they can do. Uh, and uh, see, this is another problem of the movie: passing of time where people are, because right after that. Bernie is all is here now as well. It's like, oh, I have all this information, but your database is kind of shit. So I had to get papers from my Discord channel. Um, um, sure. So you mm, had to mm, talk to people on his Discord channel, and they had the info they needed. As what? Swallow is not having a good time. <laughs> I, I, I get it. I get it. But yeah, it's, it's like, oh, I had to uh, get some serious info from my Discord channel. Uh, but here is all the data. Blah, blah, blah. So, I don't know, let, me get it, let me get it straight. So you got all this info from Discord channel from like random peeps online. But their own lab. Could, she couldn't go into her lab that has all the information she should probably could probably need to get the information herself so she had she she had to go to some weird conspiracy man to get the data from random discord people to analyze it and tell her that this is a distress signal and that has been going on for a while did i get that right don't you Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but why? Oh, OBS yes, disconnected. No, not again. No. Oh, have oh, we oh, oh wait, it's back. Too? It's back. It's back. It's back. Okay. It's back. Don't fucking start again, OBS. I thought we were done with this shenanigans. Oh, does has it been like free? Does it like freeze and then it like disconnects and then? Oh yeah, just OBS. Is like I don't that. have any internet, even though I'm still talking to people on the internet. It's like now I have it back. Oh, oh yeah, that, that was happening to me when I was streaming a few months ago. It was annoying. I yeah, it has like it. weird drops, and I, I tried everything like with the VPN, without VPN. It's just, it's just a weird OBS thing that's been that happened. OBS yeah, wants out of I this movie too. Yeah. Yeah, something I discovered is that before it drops, usually like the the video preview freezes. Okay. And then it it drops almost as if it's like a graphics card thing or something. I don't I don't even know. Um, but yeah, Chad, my, my Discord channel does not have that information, I'm afraid. Uh, unless you guys do, uh, I would like to have them all. Uh, talk about Discord channel. If you haven't seen yet, there's a link to my Discord channel in the description. Hey. Don't be confused if you can't type anything. I have a little bit of a spam protection going on. So you get an, a new role after 10 minutes and you're allowed to type in channels. Just uh, There you go as an information but you should uh, get all the information when you get in you can read the rules and everything it's uh it's fun times just uh there you go uh someone poured whiskey on obs bastards <laughs> well i mean that is a way to solve problems um yeah uh, but yeah, he's like, oh, look, all these things that are happening here and on Skull Island and blah, 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 blah. And Ellie's like, okay, but what does it mean? And he's like, well, it's a distress signal. Someone is asking for help. And I was like, all right. So there's people in Hollow Earth. Got it. Um, yeah. But yeah, now that this weirdo freak podcaster has got them all the information. Uh yeah she didn't even try to explain to her team what was going on but yeah again this distress signal is hap happening there's a titan alert godzilla's on the run and on the run and kong just happens to pop out his head for his little tooth uh switch out it's a lot of things happening at the same time that's uh, very coincidental i'd say um yeah there's a, there's 
there's a lot of um deus ex machina to get a story going here oh yeah like, like a lot of a lot of things are lining up <laughs> oh um, yes and now that she has the information of bernie who is apparently just allowed to be on the station because eileen said so even though she's not the boss boss here i'm pretty sure because we have this other lady here which i think is the boss i could be wrong i'm i'm as a bit unsure about the structure of this thing because we we now learn it's like oh we have to find a reason for the signal fast because the government has been looking for an excuse to take over I don't think they need to look very far. Godzilla is just running around killing everybody just by existing. I think the government is fine. And seeing Monarch how they handle... The government? Huh? Monarch isn't the government? I Apparently not. Okay, well, that, that feels contradictory, but okay. Maybe they are. Maybe Monarch isn't a government organization. I don't know. But apparently the, the, these guys are independent-ish, which seems weird to me when we have these, you know world-threatening titans running around and also yeah godzilla just going on a rampage every time a titan appears i feel like they they would have taken over immediately i don't know why there's like this weird independent thing going on uh maybe it's like an uh like if, it's like if shield wasn't the government you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it should be an extension like uh, mm -hmm. uh you know the the titan division really uh but yeah i don't oh, know god, if godzilla is hard to find <laughs> <laughs> did privatize world peace so i guess <laughs> i guess yeah this uh, like the stark industries isn't the government and they do a lot of shieldy stuff hmm. yes uh i don't know maybe it's like a leftover organization just by observing kong for a long time and that's like the same organization and it's not government i don't know i can just speculate i'm as i said the the, the structure of this is kind of weird and, uh, I don't know, just because Godzilla is hap happens to kill the quote-unquote bad monsters, uh, it's probably not enough for them to not take over immediately because Kong just fucks shit up everywhere it goes. He's still causing massive amounts of destruction everywhere, so, I don't know, seems a bit weird. Mm. But don't worry, we'll never pick that story thread back up again. That They just said that we just, we're now going to Hollow Earth in a second. So don't 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 hope for a resolution of that problem, because it's not going to be a problem anymore, at least not in this movie. Um, uh, oh yeah, by the way, what happens to uh, Godzilla just you know being radi radioactively charged and just melting shit by standing around? Wasn't that a thing mm -hmm. that happened in the MonsterVerse? Um, I'm not actually sure. Like he does. Um... Like when he's super duper charged up, he's like filled with radiation. But like, I'm yeah, not sure if that's his default state in this universe because he's not. He doesn't have the same origin as the regular. Yeah, um, I, that wasn't King of the Monsters, isn't that uh, part of the MonsterVerse? King of the Monsters. I'm pretty sure it is. Because right? that was like his supercharged form. Yeah, no, just but I'm just saying that's a thing that uh, can happen. So I feel like the government. It is like... something that can happen. Yeah. And it does actually happen in this film, yeah, but um, it doesn't happen. It, I don't know if that's his default state, if he's, like, always radioactive, or it's only when he's just eaten radiation that he's radioactive. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how these things work. What is this metabolism like? Does he eat goats? It's very aggressive metabolism. I can tell you that. <laughs> <clears throat> um, so, of course, they get, like, a team together, and they're allowed to go downstairs to check the fleems out. Um, and, uh, yeah, because we're all very reasonable, uh, human beings, Gia, the kid, of course, gets to tag along, uh, okay, I, I guess she did some very good argumentations for why she should be down there, or they just tag along, because she, she was down there with them in the first movie, I mean, she's seen, like, people getting torn apart and die all the time, so she's probably used to it, who knows, but it's just funny, because yeah. Bernie, Bernie is like, oh, come on, can I come with you, and at least, like, ah, oh, it's, that's, it's, it's a scouting mission, it could be dangerous, like, you're taking a fucking child with you, you can take Bernie, <laughs> like, come on, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't fucking, you, di you didn't you didn't even really hesitate with your child but bernie is like you, you that's dangerous 
Fucking stupid. In but, her defense, I wouldn't want to bring Bernie either. Oh, of course. It's just funny that she hesitated with him, but uh, the chat's like, no, it's fine. <laughs> oh, God. Um, but of course, he gets to be around because, like, but I helped with Mecha Godzilla and I'm very smart and cool and stuff. And I was like, yeah, okay, get in, but it's not, uh, it's not gonna be easy, uh, whatever. And then uh, we have Mikhail, who's like the mean military ish guy. I was like, oh, was he like in the other movies? Like, he's not, he's just here to die. <laughs> he's just, he's just here to die. Because he goes into he goes in the shuttle and Bernie rightfully asks, Oh, is there like any in flight briefing I should know about? And Mikhail says, Yeah, no parachutes, no flotation devices. If you touch any of this, you lose your hand. And if you're going to die, make sure to do it outside of my vehicle. I was like, Oh, that's hilarious. I was like, No, but seriously, is there anything he should probably know? Like, does he is he bound to have seizures? Because he probably would have gotten one. I feel like there should be a briefing. Yeah. The way you go in there is super aggressive. There's flashing lights everywhere. Shit is going down. Like, gravity is fucking around like crazy. And it's like... Nope, no no briefing for the new means of travel by nope. which only, like, a dozen people have ever even <laughs> exactly. like, participated. Uh, Not, nothing to know. Just It's just like being in a in a train or something um yeah that's a no no briefing and then they go in and they go like everybody gets like pushed back you're like yeah and that's funny i'm happy that i watched the uh the other one for 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 context it's even more aggressive in that one like they they scream and go like oh god this is so crazy and they do it for the first time like they, they actually have to use these apex machines heaves i think they called it they call them um it's basically like a like a little space shuttle looks like straight out of star trek actually like a space shuttle kind of dealio and they they the reason they had to build these ones is there's like all kinds of weird shit with gravitation happening and the first time they mm -hmm. tried to go in there like it switched and they just got squished Meaning, like, they, it's, like, super fucked up dangerous, so they have to build these machines. And I assume they improved them because it's not quite as aggressive. But the... Yeah, the, it's... The rule is... I'm Willy Wonka in this. If, if you're just a normal human being, you can't just go through there and be fine. You have to be in, like, the specific uh, heave shuttle to go through. Keep that in mind because that's going to be important later. So you don't yeah. die and get squished. Yes. Uh, and of course, Bernie doesn't get to know this. They're just like, no, it's fine. And then they go in. Everything's going crazy. He's like, oh, God. And everyone else who probably has done this trip a couple of times already are also pretty uncomfortable. They're like, oh, shit, this is crazy. So, yeah, uh, probably want to give the new guy some information like as to what is going to happen. But uh, no, uh, comedy goes first. That's why I've been constantly being reminded of this being a Marvel movie. Um, yeah, no sense in telling him that there's a very real possibility he might swallow his own tongue in this trip. Yeah. Um, which makes me feel kind of bad for Bernie here. It's like, damn, you probably should have told him that. Like, for, As I said, what if he's bound to have seizures or something? Like, There's like flashing lights everywhere. He would be fucked. Um, even just not being prepared for that kind of oh, yeah. sensation, like he might just panic and end up hurting himself or, or someone else, you know, like it's, it's really not a good idea to have a person go into that kind of scenario blind. No, no. The newest lore says you need to follow a Titan to survive the portal. Wait, what? Th that wasn't established. I don't remember that. That, that who, who, doesn't feel right. Who says that? And who who's set up that lore? And why are they lying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever. It's definitely bullshit. So that's there you go. Ford, you're turning into a penguin. Stop it. Nice. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference. Appreciate that. Pingu. 
It wasn't a Monarch TV show. There's a Monarch TV show? What? Oh, yeah, they released one at the same time Godzilla Minus One came out, and the only thing I know about it is that Godzilla makes the fuck me eyes to a nuke. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, now I have to see it. No, you don't. It was a big old meme that was going around. Just I haven't. I'll watch the show eventually. I was going to, but it hadn't come out yet. And then other things came up, like this fucking editing thing. But uh, this this image was going around for a little bit of just Godzilla, just really looking like deeply and lovingly at this nuclear warhead, um, just absolutely um, enthralled. Um, some might say, you know, that it's a good thing that the camera cuts off just above the waist because we might see like his little titan rising oh um, no in that shot. <laughs> little titan rising out now <laughs> i can only imagine what godzilla's dawn must be like i bet Horrifying it's incredible is my guess. <laughs> uh so yeah they make their way there everything is fine they're like yay i'm doing good even though bernie is like oh my god uh the monarch shows a piss stain of writing i'm not surprised watching this movie and the one before that uh but yeah now they're in <laughs> in hollow earth and again the, the way it's portrayed with this portal it feels like they're going to a whole different planet universe or whatever but how did you how did you put it mark it's like a like a halo inside the planet <laughs> like a dyson sphere yeah, is it, more. yeah it's, it's like, yeah kind of like a halo is it like i mean is there is there land on the sides or isn't it just kind of the ceiling and the well it's, and... it's kind of weird it, it actually looks quite different from the movie before uh because in kong versus godzilla you can see there's like a ceiling right above and then like a ground and then there's like free space on the side until you probably there's going to be a wall there but here it looks much more like a like a like a wider free roaming place with like much more space unless oh, I, I think that was in the last i think that was in the last film but they did go into like a more enclosed temple um in the last one so maybe that was no, no i mean i mean the shots or... outside of the temple it's like there's like a oh, okay. there's like a big ceiling. They actually there's like a scene actually where he jumps up to the ceiling and there's like a like a shift in gravity. So there's like low gravity, he kind of floats up and then he gets grabbed by the gravity on the ceiling. You know, like there's like a oh, gravity yeah. on the floors, but you can kind of jump between it, like a dead space almost, where you can jump from the one uh, side of the wall to the other one. That's not in this one really. Yeah. Mm. it's quite different i just realized like yeah i just mm, i think i've just realized why the portals might be there it's because there is like a subterranean um area of the of of, of the hollow earth so it's mm -hmm. like the subterranean is actually just the gooey space in between right like regular earth and hollow earth so the portals are to get to the to the to the center of hollow earth and then you would go back technically up Mm -hmm. but it would be down from the perspective of hollow earth right and yeah. i have one eye open right now because i needed the brain power yeah straight and man logic <laughs> that's that's true yeah it's kind of like -Man logic. <laughs> the quantum realm um yeah it's uh it's it's, it's definitely weird um and then the Kong is now running around. It's like, yay, Hollow Earth. And then there's like some dinosaur bird thingies flying around that can shoot lightning when you agitate them. So now we have lightning bird, uh, lightning bird's gun. Because when they when they introduce that, hey, you can shoot lightning. It's like, you're going to get them for something later. And that's exactly what's happening. They're, they're not very subtle with their setups in this movie. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. No. They're like, look at this thing. It can shoot lightning. Wink, wink. <laughs> uh, also, we have camouflage now. They have camouflage oh, yeah. on the camo. on the ship, but they never use it after this. They just have it. It's like, okay, cool. Uh, and I was sure they're going to use it for something, but they really don't. Unless I missed it uh, and he used it while he was flying come. around. Chekhov's come. <laughs> uh, 
then we cut quickly to Godzilla, uh, who made landfall in France. Which is like, yeah, that's fine. Fuck up France. Nobody gives a shit. It's just France. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He sucks off a nuclear reactor. Yeah, he's like at some nice. nuclear facility and is charging up because apparently there's something going on and he needs to charge up his energisms. Uh, and he's getting attacked by some planes. It's kind of funny because uh, it's funny because they make sure they it, it looks like they send drones uh, to attack him with rockets and stuff instead of human beings. Which is like <laughs> nice try, but. I've seen all the buildings explode. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and then he does, his, and then the return of the giant uh, nuclear meltdown attack mm. from um, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, only it's blue this time. Yeah. So, yeah. But it only seems to happen when he's recently sucked off some radiation. So, um, yeah, that's uh, seems to only be. It seems to be like a dispersion of excess energy. Which is one of the few things that might actually be consistent in these films. Like very few. Let's let's mm. count them as they come. You will not find many. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, he's about Keen. to suck off another giant monster soon. <laughs> no. And then he's gonna suck off that monster's home in Antarctica. Oh mm. no. He's doing that. Nom actually. nom 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 nom. Tiamat, here I come. Ooh, I'm gonna follow you in a submarine. Jason Bourne. <laughs> Jason Bourne, <laughs> like that—that that, the submarine pilot did have like Jesus Christ. That's Jason Bourne energy. I'm not sure if that was the same actor or not, mm. but did have that energy. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just so it's so lazy. It goes like, ah, oh, look, we're gonna. You, you see, uh, Godzilla kill these guys directly. So these are drones, but all the human beings on the floor, we don't see them die. So that didn't happen. That's what I like to call lazy fucking writing. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's like never acknowledged that he kills all these uh, people on the ground. It's so it's it's uh, it's upsetting me. It upsets me. <laughs> Mima, you having a stroke? No, I'm describing the plot of um, Godzilla Kong, um, the new empire. And by the way, there's been very little new empire um, so far. I've noticed. I mean, if you want to um, call that just... tribe on, in Hollow Earth a new empire, good lord. Good luck. <laughs> Isn't it just referring to the two villain monsters? Probably. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just referring to King all the, the apes. Or... <clears throat> yeah, all the apes. Well, technically, it's not really King and Queen as much as it is King and Dog. Ice Dog. Little dog are going to give it a chin scratch. Of yeah, the Ice so. Age. Yeah. Oh, it's just silly. Uh, but yeah, they, they treat... <laughs> Again, they treat Godzilla like this, like this helper of the humanity well clearly Godzilla doesn't give a single shit about humans he's just he's just about his territory and wants to keep it his own that's all he cares about yeah it's kind of it's it's a bit frustrating because you look at like the very first one there was kind of like this ambiguity that they had programmed into Godzilla where he was like diving under ships and he was kind of carefully walking around buildings like he, he still couldn't avoid collateral damage because of the size mm -hmm. but there was like this almost like they 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 said when they were making that first film they gave him the personality of an old grizzled warrior and they wanted to have a certain level of intelligence mm -hmm. they're like oh, not quite human but still like a little bit of a like an um like just, there's just uh, there's a certain like animalistic wisdom there but then gvk comes around and uh and, he, and he's like and he like surfaces and he smashes into the fucking bridge and he's um <laughs> uh, uh he's not really uh he's a, he's a lot less careful which kind of breaks that 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 like ambiguity about the nature of godzilla there yeah um but that's enough of godzilla we only get like glim like seconds of godzilla for until the end of the movie it's kind of kind of funny it's like look there's godzilla he's in france sucking off a plant anyway back to hollow earth <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my my seeds have blossomed Ooh. just like my spunk mm -hmm. spunky i'm gonna call i'm gonna discover a flower and i'm gonna call it a spunk blossom ew but My also spunk nice. is regressing <laughs> into seed form. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Biolante is in this set now? No, but what, always room for next time. Uh, that is a monster that literally does spit, spit its seed everywhere. Mm. Mm. 
Uh, oh yeah, back at Hollow Earth. Uh, they make their way, so they have a station in Hollow Earth, uh, X amount of distance away from the portal. Uh, so it's, <laughs> it's really weird. I don't know why they, like in universe, I don't know why they did it this way. They lose connection to the top and 10 seconds later they arrive at the base. Why the fuck did you build the base basically at the edge of your comms range? What is wrong with you? Reason. Just build it <laughs> a little bit further <laughs> earlier and you're fine. You could have just... You, you could have noticed what was going on already. Like, what a weird fucking thing to do. Suck. Like, why would you build the one base you have just at the edge of your comms range? And even weirder is... Oh, oh yeah, someone says, build a repeater tower for your comm system. Yeah, that's also a very good idea. But it's and so close. extender. But it's so close, you don't even need to do it. Just build the base a little bit further. It's not a big base. It's basically like a container and a couple of cars. So what the fuck are you doing? Fucking dumbasses. I don't know. But have you considered that that handprint only had four fingers? Uh, no. <laughs> if you include the thumb. Mm. Well... Sucks to be Scarp King or whatever. Uh, uh, but yeah, the, 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 I just had a thought. It's, oh yeah, right. So they build on the edge of the uh, of the comms range, and apparently they don't even know that the that the base has been destroyed or attacked. So oh, even if I'm being very generous and they oh they build on the on the edge of the base they had cars and everything so they could have at least driven or walked in comms range and give them updates once in a while but they just don't know something is wrong they're not like oh we haven't had communications with the base downstairs in x amount of days or whatever it's just, no, they arrived there, it's like, oh no, everybody is dead. It's like, oh, yeah, that's awkward. But, yeah. Um, so the Elbows has been fucked up, and there's, like, actual corpses lying around. Like, they've been fucked up good. And then Mikael, he has, like, this weird device that can do heat signals, and it's like, no heat signals, so much for survivors. And then Eileen has the audacity to say, have some respect. Those people had families. Like, fuck off. Fuck right <laughs> off. You don't give a shit about people's families. <laughs> don't even fucking start. You care about your own stupid deaf child, and that's it. Like, you didn't give a shit about any of the civvies in Rome or whatever. You, all she had to say is like, Oh, they need to look for another scapegoat. It's like, how about you fuck off? What a horrible person. I hate her. She's awful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nothing else. Okay, well, I guess I'll just move on. Uh, <laughs> I don't have too much to notes say for this, this part, movie in general, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm struggling I'm, to even I'm come up with anything. I'm just waiting for... Um, I, I have a note that's... I'm waiting for... What's the next part I want to talk about? I think it might just be Godzilla and Submarine and in the Antarctic might be... Next well, that's thing, that's maybe. that's still a little bit. We we now we get some things that could have been a better movie. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, we have Kong next. Don't we? <clears> that's <throat> probably what I want to talk about next. I'm I'm forgetting yeah, order. They also find like two they, movies in my head. They also find a, a, a camera. You know, like, can you get some footage out of there? Which they do at something at some point. But uh, yeah, now we're gonna follow around Kong. And this is like the parts of the movie where they actually just let Kong do. Kong things on his own without any dialogue at all. It's like, oh, you do know that's a possibility. That's interesting. Maybe you should have done that the whole movie because that would have been at least yeah. more entertaining. Because Kong, yeah, from Kong, what I know, yeah. oh sorry, no, go ahead. Oh yeah, so what I, oh yeah, so what I, from what I know, I think at this, it's very symptomatic of this film. I think Adam Wingard might have had as little interest in doing human stuff as we, as we do, because I think he was talking about in interviews how he wanted to continue to make a case for like having an almost like majority or all monster centric film. So it feels like he was using those parts as the pitch for like, okay, you can do these scenes and it's all monsters and there's no humans and people will be invested. 
which, you know, we're going to probably praise a little bit here, but of course, it would have been nice if the humans still have to be in the film by executive mandate if mm. they weren't dog shit, you know? Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, Kong is, uh, kind of, I don't know, sensing something and is just kind of exploring, glowing around with the glowy axe thingy that he got in the other movie. And he makes it to uncharted territory, the uh, subterranean, I think is what, 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 what they call it. And then he gets attacked by some other big apes. <gasps> There's other monkeys. But they are evil. They don't like other monkey. Uh, it's just, I don't yeah, know. The, even baby monkey. Yeah, we got Junior uh, Junior Kong or whatever you want to call him. Uh, Donkey Kong Jr. They just have a little bit of a fight. <laughs> it's, not, it's not horrible. It's all right. Uh, and you get like you just get some glimpses in the scene. Where you could that you can make a movie without any of the humans or human speech at all. Like they do some gestures and make like monkey noises and stuff, and you can just tell what they what they mean, kind of. Uh, yeah. But then, then again, he, like, it's like it uses like the small child as like the bat, and it's great. He does. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the scene I was talking about. There, that at some point he 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 grabs little junior monkey man and he just kind of swings him around and (laughs) diddy kong (laughs) diddy kong it kind of yeets him around as like a bat and punches the other apes uh yeah i think what's great about that is that it's actually it's it's really funny but also it works in context because he's literally being attacked by the little shit so he's like oh get the fuck off me but then he's being attacked by the other ones like oh well i already have this (laughs) and then he feels and then he you know and then he he doesn't like go excessively with it it's just kind of like you know i just i need to just not die here (laughs) yeah uh and and while the, the the fight wasn't horrible but it's kind of weird because they kind of the the fighting is much more human like than animal like. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. It's a Your little tactics. bit more. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like I'm just watching a human action scene, but with a Kong skin over it. Basically, it just it just kind of feels off to me because I was like, oh. I have like big apes fighting. They're gonna be like ruthless and go like bomb, bomb, bomb. You know, just beating the piss out of each other's like more uh have like a something uh i, just, I, I don't i don't recall but it's, it's like a much much less ruthless and more tactics you know yeah it's uh and also, oh obs the fight ends. obs flamed up again god damn it stop it oh it's back god it should damn be it. back okay good i'll be back okay uh it's green again we should I'm be not back God, I don't know why OBS keeps doing this. And, uh... They refuse well, to it, fix this issue. Apparently, lots of people are having it. Because it it, it was gone for like a week. Uh, and I was streaming in peace, but now it's back again. It's just... Uh, yeah, just reload, everybody. Re- reload, we should be back. <laughs> it might happen again. It also dropped a couple of frames, apparently. I don't know why this is happening. I, I already checked my internet connection and everything. It's definitely not my problem or my internet's problem it's just a weird obs thing uh and i don't know why there was another yeah. update there was another update recently and now it's flumping up again i was kind of hoping it just fixed the issue instead of making it go make i blame rebel moon <laughs> i yeah, do it's blame rebel, rebel moon that's fair that's like fair. Zack snyder is a pretty good scapegoat to be honest <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm comfortable blaming most things on him <laughs> things <laughs> i thought that was joel for Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you know they can team up. You know, <laughs> Zach and Joel. The tag Zach team Snyder of the century. will be directing an episode of Last of Us season two. <laughs> oh, could you imagine? He's probably. Could you imagine directing the, the him uh... directing the golf club episode? <laughs> yep. <laughs> That'd be That's his the thing. First I think. thing. I thought too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I kind of need to see that universe now. Oh. What All right. Yeah. Zack Snyder Last of Us reboot one. Oh God! Oh, look! It would it will have like two shots that might look okay, and then the rest of it will be excessive slow motion <laughs> that people will will praise. It's only thirty minutes of movie, but it's all slow motion, so it's like four hours long. Yes. Um. 
Uh, but anyway, Kong beats the, the, the other apes and he basically tells Small Ape, all right, you better tell me where the others are. I want to see what's going on with my with my kind, with my peeps, you know? And oh, so, Do you remember when he threw the rock at the other ape that was running away? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he throws like a, a rock at one of the apes that's still running away. I think he kicked one dead. Oh, yeah. Like he, uh, he, one of the apes almost falls down. And he grabs him, is like because he uh, he's been alone for so long. He's like, oh, I don't want to kill one of my kind. Like he might be one of the last four or whatever. So he grabs him, helps him up, and that ape instead of going like thank you, he just grabs the knife and just tries to stab Kong. And Kong just kicks him back down. <laughs> just like I don't know, it was like a funny segment to me. It's like oh, I yeah. helped you. Oh, I guess not. Bam. <laughs> and. and and then after the fight, um, the last one is running away, and he's like, "Oh no, Kong is too badass! Oh no, he's like got big muscles!" And then Kong's like, "Nah, uh, uh." He picks up a rock and he throws it, and it like does this huge arc in the air because yeah. the ape is like so yeah, many great. kilometers away at this point, and then it perfectly just hits him in the head. Yeah. It doesn't even uh, knock him out though. He seen. just he perfect. just falls down. It's like, ah, oh, damn it! And then he just keeps running away. <laughs> perfectly he aimed a big artillery out shot. Uh, it was cinema. Yeah. Um, it did cinema pretty hard. Mm. It, it it do be like that. Uh, Kong is basically human at this point. He feels very human. Uh, that's that's true. Yeah. Most people are uh, talking about the scaling of Kong. Yeah, because Kong is basically as big as Godzilla. I don't know if Kong was scaled up or Godzilla scaled down. I think Kong was scaled up significantly. Oh, I, yeah, there's an explanation in universe for that because they say in Skull Island that he's still growing, and then when he's in um, GVK, he's full size. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, also, you guys can keep talking. I'll be right back. It seemed to me that yeah. the sense of scale was not particularly great in the last few. Like, I remember yeah, Godzilla looking was, absolutely um... gigantic, and even Kong looked huge in Skull Island. But even though he's supposed to be bigger, kind of doesn't look bigger most of the time because this this movie never seems to do anything with the size of the actual creatures unless it's yeah, a slow like, scene where they're doing like a vet procedure on them yeah exactly like it's um it's that fine line where like you want to have those shots in there that really emphasize their scale and the enormity of them but you also want the the shots that allow you to clearly see what's happening because you can obviously um risk the elbow cam a little bit um if, yeah. you, if you go too close so it's like that really fine really fine line um and uh, yeah they, they have they do have a trouble they do have trouble straddling it unfortunately i think shimo later on in the film is going to have the biggest um case of scale issues because like when we first see shimo it looks like he, he's like to kong what kong is to human and then yeah. later on it starts he starts to look around she, no wait shimo is a she um yeah, yeah. She, uh, that's kind of why shimo, i said the queen of the monsters uh, thing earlier ah <laughs> shimo oh no oh, oh well uh, uh mothra queen of the monsters but uh yeah um yeah yeah no but, but uh, i meant for the new empire that it's like they were to supplant the like, thing but you're right it is more of a dog kind of relationship I I yeah yeah, yeah of course oh, i hear what that's... you mean yeah um but yeah, like she's like Shima's really weird because yeah, like I said, just, just she looks gigantic in like the very first shots, and like she looks like oh, she's like the she makes Kong look like a human, and then like the rest of the film, she's like scaled like only to be like a little bit taller, and it's like what has happened? And uh, I think what happened is that she was actually standing higher at a higher elevation, and it gave an illusion. Yeah. But I think I still got to run the numbers on that one because I still feel like they they blew her up for one shot. <laughs> But that's what my gut is telling me. Hmm. Are you talking about Shima? Yeah, yeah Shimo. Shimo. Which uh, I had to correct myself. I called Shimo a he when Shimo was a <gasps> she. It's in the name, you idiot. <laughs> I know, I'm a bad boy. You're really a bad racist. boy. I deserve to be spanked by the Scar King. You deserve to be spunked. What? The Spunk King. The Spunk. I am well, the first, Spunk. First you get spanked, and then you get spunk. Oh my. Don't threaten me with first, a good time. I have fun. Uh, let me see. Uh, 
Oh yeah, so yeah, Kong and and, and Junior Ape Kong, they're just they're kind of just going on their own little adventure. I say adventure; they just make their way to the other apes, but it feels like an adventure because we cut away like seven times, and it feels like they're going like for weeks. Uh, also, we're now uh, forty minutes into the movie, and I feel like we haven't really done a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, uh... so it's like the the pacing's really fast but really slow. It's weird. Mm. I think it's because it takes so long to get to the Scar King um, himself, and so it kind of feels like he's just waiting for the other shoe to drop for like an extended period of time. But a right. lot still actually happens in that time, even though it's not a lot of stuff that adds up to much. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh yeah, the the uh, our our human team they're flying around. Uh, currently, and Eileen checks the footage of the camera, which apparently is stored in the camera. They have like things in there instead of on a different side. Whatever, it's fine with me. Not a big issue. Uh, and he's like, "Oh no, this looks like an ape, but that's impossible." Damn. What? And then the thing happened you mentioned earlier, meme the signal a flame appears on their screen and it's just like the same graph <laughs> <laughs> it's like it visually distorts the screen so it looks like the same graph that gia uh, painted on the table and was also on the graph on the scanner it's it makes no sense it's so stupid because it, it even god now that i think about it, it makes even less sense uh because they tell us it's like a it's a gravitational thing, but also tele they also have been reaching out telepathically. So it's like a double fleam. I I don't know. It's 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 Have weird. you considered that gravity is gravity, but gravity gravities where it gravities, so it shows up on the scanner screen, but also the screen that is not the scanner because it gravities the code and gravities the brain. Gravity. I think we oh, must onto something there. <laughs> yeah I, I might have just had a stroke <laughs> <laughs> and this is why you invite me onto these strokes true um they, they see the signal and Gia, Gia is like oh it's from over there by the way <laughs> I know where it comes from <laughs> I was like oh I guess I guess she no idea she can do that like at this point, it's like I was right now. I don't understand her powers, and you know what? At the end of the movie, I still don't understand her powers. It's really weird. Uh, and then they she go check vibes. out, and more comedy ensues. Yay! That's that's yeah. That's like funny. That's my cue to get a drink. No, oh, yeah, there you go. Because uh, Bernie is recording shit for his channel or this blog or whatever. Uh, which apparently he is allowed to do down here. He can just go around and record flames, because he 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 plans to put that on his blog or his YouTube channel or his podcast or whatever. Uh, but yeah, Trapper, which I I don't understand because I mean if they didn't let him keep any of his sources or footage or acknowledge him or mm -hmm. anything like that the last time, what makes him think that they would let him get out of Hollow Earth with with that footage? Exactly. Uh. Is, 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 is okay especially if later he's like oh you really shouldn't release this footage because it's like a hidden tribe and they probably won't survive that or it's going to get weird it's like normal people can't just go to hollow earth i don't even know what you're talking about yeah um but yeah he's like filming stuff it's like oh the hollow earth is flaming about this room but trapper right uh runs into his shot and he's like what really right in the shot right in the camera come on man ha 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 anyway i'm gonna make take two now i was like jesus christ oh my god yeah he's so annoying i hate this I character think, yeah. so much I'm thinking about him i'm nodding off like i'm just like oh my god this guy don't nod off we you got a show to do <laughs> uh, uh but yeah they're so just so annoying they they are running around and Trapper is like, oh, wait, hang on, we can't go this way. This reeks of rotting flesh, and it's most likely dangerous. But Mikael is like, my machinery says there's no, there's no heat signals, and I'm, 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 I'm gonna trust this thing and not your Ace Ventura-looking ass sixth sense. Yeah, 
And then he gets eaten by some monster immediately. I think it's kind of supposed to be funny, but no one really gives a shit he died. They run away for like a little bit, but then they're like just going back to normal. <laughs> he was yeah. also the only guy who had a weapon uh, on him. Not that they ever need to use a weapon, but they, they're implying it's like, oh no, we don't have any weaponry on us anymore, but that doesn't really matter in the movie anyway. Well, I mean, also, like, against those kind of creatures, what's your weapon really going to do? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, he gets eaten by a thing, they run away a little bit, and then Bernie starts. is the only one who starts kind of stressing out about a, be, seeing a man getting eaten alive. By some weird tree looking kind of thingy. But of course, they just immediately make a joke out of it. It's like, oh, you know, it's the. Uh, whatever. And then they just go back. It's like, okay. It's just. You get like a glimpse, like, oh, yeah, he's freaked out. He just saw someone die. That's probably pretty, pretty rough. But they're like, nah, it's whatever. Because the trapper guy starts talking about something, and he's like, oh, man, you're really, you're a fucked up dude. <laughs> because he doesn't really care. And all I was thinking, all I was thinking, is like, is anyone gonna, what the, is, is the kid fine? Does, is she not distressed by this? Are we, like, checking <laughs> on her? Like, we see her a little bit, she looks, like, a bit annoyed at best. But I guess she's yeah. just so cool and, and awesome and useful that she doesn't really care. I mean, also, like, you don't get too much of a sense of her character either. Like, she she sort of doesn't do much, even though she's, like, <clears throat> very important to the plot. Yeah. She's kind of a breathing MacGuffin. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, it's the same in the movie before this, because she's like, there, oh, yeah, by the way, I can... I can talk to Kong with my sign language. It's like, oh, okay, that's helpful. Yeah, we, we hardly ever see her talking to him, like, at any length. It's no, it's just... like, you need to help us. It's, like, impl <laughs> it's implied... Just three they words have, to him. It's implied they have this bond or whatever, and they can sense each other even. It was like, sure, maybe show us some scenes yeah. where they hang out with each other and bond. Don't just imply it. Oh, we got a couple scenes in the previous movie of them hanging out on the deck of a ship. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's about it. Um, she has seen a couple of deaths in the other movie when she was younger, so maybe she's already desensitized. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she has, like, PTSD when she goes home. Uh, what did I miss? Oh, I was just talking about uh, Mikhail getting eaten, and they start uh, pretending like they care. But then they make a joke out of it because Bernie's like, oh my god, just saw someone getting eaten alive by a tree monster or whatever. And then Trapper's like, haha, yeah, that happened. Yeah, that that was... <laughs> I think I almost like repressed that moment from memory because it was like, it was... that was just such a fucking bizarre... It was like <laughs> somebody hit a button to write that character out of the movie. Yeah. It was... Literally it's... a tree came to life and devoured him out of nowhere. Yeah, I think it's like, oh, I hate when that now. happens. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just <sighs> never any other killer trees, by the way. No, this, this it doesn't even follow them. It's just just eats them, and then that's it. And they they stop being distressed pretty quickly as well. And it just it just also pointed out that uh, Gia, she's not distressed at all. She's fine. She's like, huh, looks a bit annoyed at best, but that's about it. Uh, she's just so amazing and cool i guess that she doesn't care about dead people i don't know <laughs> like usually something like this would almost be the beginning of a set piece where it's like we can't trust the plants and then yeah. they have to get out of the forest but uh, no that was just that didn't happen yeah it's uh yeah uh, it's such a marvelization of godzilla and kong in this movie it's really annoying and the characters in general like everybody, every, yeah. almost everything is bec becomes a joke. I was like, aha, uh -huh, someone died. <laughs> anyway, you're one crazy guy, Trapper. You're crazy. Anyway, I don't want to die. Yeah, that's the thing. Is none of like giant monsters, Hollow Earth. Like it, it can be. It's ridiculous sounding on paper. None OBS, of it needs to be no. like. Oh no! I was making a point. OBS. Fuck you. No, it's uh, it's, it's fuck fine. you. No, OBS. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Um. You know, none of that needs to be... It, it's silly sounding on paper, but, you know, a lot of things are silly sounding when you say them out loud. Uh, but the, 
the thing is, like, if you take it seriously uh, in your movie, if you take your, your concept seriously, I will take it seriously. Yeah. You see how that works? See how that works? Like, I take it, you know, it, when seeing is believing. So if you believe what you're making me see, I will believe. But if you don't believe, you know, if you stop believing, then I will stop believing. You know, I will stop believing. So and it will make stop. me sad. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, see, I just turned my point into a joke. I'm marveling. Oh, nice. Anyway, Godzilla's <laughs> running around for cities full of radiation now and destroying buildings. Yay. Yeah! Pew, 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 pew! <laughs> uh, and yeah, we learned that Godzilla is heading for Tiamat. Uh, because he's still looking for more charge. He wants to get supercharged. And apparently, that's what they say, uh, Tiamat is at the, uh, Tiamat's territory is at a part of Earth that has the largest stockpile of energy because of electromagnetic charged solar winds or something. Yeah, I feel like I'm like, solar winds? What the fuck are you talking about, man? Those are in space. Yeah, but we're also in space, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you see, there's the, the you see because the magnetic poles converge at the poles, um, you know, aurora borealis and aurora Australia. <laughs> don't, I don't know. At there's this time of the year. There's, yeah, it's probably like a like some sciencey bullshit thing I could come up with, but I don't think the film goes that far. All I know is that. <laughs> <laughs> this part's really funny because like actually think about what happens tiamat is just is just chilling in his you know is oh yeah tiamat's a her you're just chilling it's like yeah hey, just vibing absorbing the the solar winds and then godzilla's like oi oi bitch open up <laughs> Boy, fuck you i up. need uh, i need i need your precious juices <laughs> mm. i'm gonna fucking eat you yeah that's what i'm gonna do and i it was so outrageous that IGN wrote an article in outrage over this scene. <laughs> and I'm not joking. <laughs> they were like, what? I think it was, I think the article was literally titled, What the Hell Godzilla? <laughs> I mean, someone points out in, in chat, uh, she was following the deal with Godzilla, not hurting anyone. He just invades her home and murders her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, actually, that's the ironic part is that um, this this is actually taking elements from like the there was a there was a graphic novel that was set in between King of the Monsters and GVK to explain where all the monsters went because we wouldn't want to know where that was in the film. No, God forbid. But uh, in that one, they're just like, oh yeah, Godzilla is like leading them, but then he's like, oh, Ghidorah's still out there somewhere. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, monsters go to sleep and just don't hurt humans, okay? And so they're doing that. So, so it's in the deal, and then it's like, no, fuck you, I'm gonna eat your fucking head, because f fuck you, Tiamat, I need to become pink. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's great writing. Yes, yeah, very, very good writing. Oh, I found the article, pink shut now, up, so... Google. Shut At up, least we've God. created the pink Lizzo. Uh, yeah, well, not quite yet, because we don't do this in one go. We first go back to Hollow Earth, oh, yeah. and they're like, oh, we checked out the place that Geo's like, the thing comes up, I was like, oh, there are signs of human civilization. And the girl is like, yo, those are the symbols of my village from where I was as a child, P Poggy. I was like, oh, okay. And then they check all the things out, and Bernie is now not distressed at all anymore. He's just going around, and he's taking pictures with a Polaroid camera for some reason. Maybe that's like a conspiracy thing. You can't trust digital cameras. I, I don't know. I'm making this up. He just had a Polaroid, and it's confused me. Uh, but he's also taking, like, just snaps, snaps with, like, flash on and everything. Like... Weren't you, like, concerned about monsters, like, uh, ten minutes ago? And now it's just like, <laughs> the snap. <laughs> uh, I don't even know why I'm trying. Yeah, the, just, the, uh... the people in this <clears throat> in this world aren't aren't real. Okay. I mean, I know that it's a movie, so none of them are ever. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they're, they don't make decisions. They, they just do things. Uh... Jesus Christ, it's Tiamat. 
it's Geomod. <laughs> uh, also, again, like, he just doesn't get any supervision or anything, even though all of the team was like from the beginning, this might be dangerous. And they're like, yeah, no, you just do your thing. Maybe, I don't know, it's live stream at all. Who cares? And then they find a temple that looks pretty well kept because they point out there's no moss here. And it has Mo a Mothra symbol on there. It's like, whoa. There's Mothra? no Mothra. Mothra. And in case you didn't realize it, the kid is like, this is a temple for worshipping, worshipping. I was like, thank you, ASL uh, subtitles. You know, in case you haven't yeah. figured out this might be a temple of some sorts, they tell you. They they don't trust you in this movie. They tell you a lot of things just straight up as well. It's just like, uh, just stop treating me like a child, like an idiot. Yeah. <sighs> well, this, there's a funny, funny bit of trivia about Mothra in this film. Uh, they, mm -hmm. they always knew that they were going to use Mothra in this film, but they didn't have the rights to Mothra by the time they started shooting. So they had to shoot with a placeholder while they were securing the rights to Mothra okay. for it. So they... So um, I didn't notice it while watching, but it's just a funny thought um, for, for, um, for, <laughs> for to if I were to ever rewatch those scenes for whatever reason, I think I might want to. I'm going to keep an eye out to see if there's any obvious ADR or anything oh, okay. with that in mind. Yeah, <laughs> this is the worship temple. That's the flame one. That's the pooping temple. <laughs> I mean, you have to separate them. You don't want to have a poop in your worship temple, right? Unless you know the god demands it. That's a different story, though. What uh, if it's God poop? I mean, that's fine. God can poop wherever he wants. True. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, and then some glowy bug fleam is around that lands exactly on the button that Gia sees. I'm, I'm not sure if that was on purpose by the bug or if that just happened to happen. And she's like, ooh, a button. Click. Obviously, she presses it immediately. Uh, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Just... Yeah, but metal in the nineteen ninety eight Godzilla film, they did in fact model Godzilla in that film with genitalia, but it was female genitalia, and it's only visible in like one shot. But that is where the eggs came from. I'm pretty sure that was a stroke just now. <laughs> <laughs> it had nothing to do with anything I just said. <laughs> Uh, in this dimension I want to go home <laughs> I'm afraid you are already home no. <laughs> um, uh, because I, the, I wasn't even sure if the are they implying she can talk to the animals like all of them and they just tell her but I think that just was a thing that happens to happen uh, just very lucky once again and then there's like water flowing and they follow the water and that leads them to some weird barrier. And Trapper looks at it and Polk is like, oh, this is like some electric humming thing going on, blah, blah, blah. And Gia just fucking rips it open. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? What if it electrocutes you? What if you release a super titan? What if there's like the, the big big super AIDS plague behind that wall that someone has <laughs> has trapped in there? Like, no, it's fine. You just rip it open. And they're like, oh, wow, this looks beautiful in there. Let's go in. Uh, and then they say, this has got to be the source of the signal. I'm just like, sure, of course. Why, why wouldn't it be? <laughs> Might as well go in there. Because of course they're right, uh, and they go in there. I, <laughs> at this point, I realized they the wall. At this point, I realized they really like their look. How beautiful this hollow world is! Shots in this movie. There's probably like five or six of those. We have like a big uh, wide shot going on. It's like, ooh, look at all these things. Like, yeah, I get it. But the movie's already too long. Please move ahead. Move, move, move along, please. Uh we go back to Junior and Kong because they're still about uh, w wherever they're going at this time. And they they go into like a water and just like, look, water, you can have like a little drink, a little sippy, you know, have a little bit of a, of a shower because you stank. Uh, but it's actually all a, a clever ruse by Junior 
because he attracts some serpent monster and Junior runs away, but Kong wins off screen and throws the head in his direction, and that's that. Uh, it's not a long scene, that's just what happens. And then Kong eats the serpent's face off, and Junior's like, nice. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm on, I'm, 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 uh, I don't have any food. I'm gonna eat the lice off of my skin. And Kong is like, Here, have some of my serpent head Snake, food yeah. <laughs> uh <clears throat> at this point i was just confused as to what junior is even supposed to be uh because i was like so there's a what... young delinquent who's uh gaining respect for you know no i mean i mean i mean Kong. i mean more like in where he just came from because he was apparently about with two of the the evil apes but now it, it like it, it, it mini ape is just sitting there it's like man i'm hungry it feels like oh, i haven't eaten in in days and i was like so wait so they he he wasn't friends with those other apes like if not why did they go here why did they bring him here all the way cuz <laughs> we learn a little bit that they're like enslaved by scar king and his men mm -hmm. so I, I don't even know why they went out there with junior in tow doing things like i just don't even i don't even know why they were there they were pretty far away were, from that place like the, were the, they part of the group that attacked the um facility hmm? uh maybe but why would they t take mini ape with them i guess if it's because, like maybe yeah. if it's one of their kids it's like well i gotta i gotta do perennial care while on the job i don't know yeah, but I, I think was more thinking is because the audience likes seeing cute things. So I mean, Baby Kong, why obviously, not? I'm, probably I'm yeah. Looking more for an in-universe explanation because because there, there's like a different difference, you know. There's the the evil trapper guys that have like the red markings on them, and then there's just the other ones that do the work. And he seems to be hanging out with the ones that don't have any markings. So I don't know why they only brought Mini Ape to uh, kill off the the little base right yeah i'm hmm. yeah not sure i'm sure there's like some explanation that could exist but the film doesn't really indicate anything yeah um it's a big old it's a big old blur insert your explanation here yeah <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah kong shares his food with him because obviously he is having company for the first time in a long time of his own uh, own kind, so he probably enjoys that. And again, this is like one of these things where they just don't have any dialogue. It's just them doing monkey things and noises and stuff. So it's like, yeah, you couldn't make a whole movie out of that. That would be much more interesting to look at and yeah, yeah. Literally, it could out. just be like first God of War, but with monkeys, just like you're going from one location to another to find more of Kong's kind and uh you know they learn to like each other over the course of the film and yeah and those it's all through body language a couple of scenes but you could have done <clears throat> you could have done more of this and just actually have them go on a little adventure or something and then bond properly but you know it just it just shows me that they know how to show a story without dialogue and animals and and whatnot and not humans and dialogue uh yeah well one of my favorite scenes from the last film was that opening sequence of kong going through his morning routine especially the part yeah. where he scratched his own ass um because <laughs> uh, you know it was um human and you can do the same thing with godzilla too like godzilla is expressive enough that you can oh, just yeah. you know he does he does kind of have creaky old man energy so you can just uh there's a lot of things you can that's the thing like walking with dinosaurs right there's no humans in walking with dinosaurs except for walking with cavemen and the end mm -hmm. walking with beasts but la 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 but like you take the narration out of that that those films would still tell a story there would still be something uh disney's dinosaur was actually not meant to have talking dinosaurs it was meant to just have regular old dinosaurs and then disney pussy it out mm. well, shame. that sounds but, like um, disney <laughs> that sounds yeah. like disney but I want them film like that. Monst uh, animal characters without dialogue that yeah, are also be awesome. monsters and dinosaurs. Yeah, do it. <clears throat> would be really cool. I mean, we've been saying this for years, but I, I don't feel like we'll ever get that. <laughs> this is really annoying. <coughs> um, 
Anyway, back to Godzilla. He beats Tiamat in 10 seconds and goes to his, into his lair and charges up. It's very exciting. Yeah. That was Godzilla. Um, I thought, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess not. But yeah, this is actually yeah. what happens. It's like, hey, Tiamat, what's up? He gets tangled around. He uses lasers below water, and then Tiamat is dead, and he goes into the water and starts sucking off the energy of the <laughs> lair that saves all the energy somehow. I'm, I am don't even know how it works, but it's all in there. Uh, Did they kill Submarine, or was Submarine alive by the end? I, can't I think remember. Submarine is just submarining around. Okay, cool. Submarine's just vibing. I can respect that. I can respect it. You know, yeah. voyeuring on Godzilla's it's weird... Just... It's just funny because they, in the scene before, it's like, Tiamat, he's a, Tiamat is a destroyer, very territorial, oh, super dangerous, and then just dies in 10 seconds. Like, oh, that was, that was very exciting. Yeah, and also, I just, um, they make a big deal about how Godzilla is charging up and powering up, but uh, what what is accomplished? How is Godzilla meaningfully different outside of being pink and thinner? Well, there's something on screen that says he has now 20 times more energy than before. That's it. So, oh, I think the only thing that technically... Uh, it's probably just... that If you were to ask the writing team, they would probably say, well, he does stop the Ice Age at the end. Oh, and it's does. like, <laughs> I guess, I guess that might be something that that is not a contradiction. It's just that... Oh, you know, you're expecting a little bit more zhuzh when you mm. say that Godzilla's leveling up, you know. <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, yes, ice well, age. we'll get to the Ice Age, it's fine. Yes, well, we'll, we'll kill the dinosaur. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about this when we get to the exposition cave, don't worry. Uh, but yeah, that's it, he's charging up. Uh, and later when uh, Godzilla stands back up, you get to see like a, a screen for a bit that says, oh... He's got 20 times more uh, energy density than before or something. So he literally just gets supercharged and is now red. Which apparently I've seen online is uh, is like a, a thing they were inspired by for uh, from Goku's Kaioken from Dragon Ball. It's like, okay, I guess. Yeah. Something um, I read. It's also reminiscent of Godzilla 2000 where um, his spines had a more pinkish hue. Mm. In that uh, in that film, um, and uh, he is a little bit spikier, like Godzilla two thousand. So, um, is it, and oh, and uh, they also, while I have this in my brain, they do. So, like the first GVK, um, there's like a shit tillion references and like shots recreated from like the original um, King Kong versus Godzilla from the sixties. And then mm -hmm. later on, when they have the rematch in this film, there is like one or two shots that are like, um, they're they're like the sloppy seconds where they like there was a couple of shots they hadn't recreated, and so now they have. Everyone can use it for their fan reels. Well done. Wish we had a good movie, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no good movie, not allowed. Okay. But at least we saw Godzilla jump off a cliff as a beautiful swan. Mm. Remember that. We're gonna get to that. We 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 shall. <laughs> you just uh, made me consider the angle. Really is the reason? Fun. Is the reason? So <laughs> I just wanted to say people... that so Swall's brain would explode. <laughs> is the reason so many people watch these movies though, just so they keep making more of them, so that other people can just edit high-budget Godzilla action scenes together for fan reels? Maybe. Uh, um. But yeah, that's the memes the... are off the charts. That's a Godzilla part, uh, again, Danzo. It's probably like a minute long, maybe two. Um, then we go back to the team. They venture forth behind the barrier, and they get captured by humans in Hollow Earth. What? No! I never saw this come. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> Boring. Uh, so, yeah, there's like... Show Hollow me big lizard! There's Hollow Earth peeps, which is the same tribe that... Gia has been living with on Skull Island because apparently they, they say like in the other movie that Skull Island is like the connection between Hollow Earth and uh, Surface Earth and like Hollow Earth comes through Skull Island or something. I don't know. That's what they said. Um, yeah. But all... well, maybe that's where that base was. It was on Skull Island. Uh, maybe. Probably. 
And that's where the tribe at least was before it gets annihilated, got annihilated by the storm thingy. Yeah, I think <laughs> Ghidorah's storm, I think. Yeah. Um, uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, they look at Gia and immediately they're like, oh, she's one of us. And she also says with ASL, it's like, I can feel their thoughts. I was like, sure, of course you can. I can feel you. Yeah, they, 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 so, I so, can so, smell their voices. I can smell, can their, smell voices. their voices. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, chat, just so we're clear. Uh, so these guys don't speak. They mm -hmm. don't even have like a big, they don't, they, even, they don't even have like mouth clicky language thingy. They, they basically just look at each other really intensely and they know exactly what the other person is saying because they do it through feeling. Yeah. They communicate through feeling. Telepathically. They feel. Yeah, they do the big, um, they do the big stare and they just know. They know. That's why I keep saying vibes because they literally communicate through vibes <laughs> and, and it's, and it's beautiful. I think you should cry right now, chat. I'm, I don't oh, see you crying, chat. You should be crying. Vibe crying. with me, chat. <laughs> uh... Cry through one of your heads. But yeah, they go to their village, tribe, place. So <laughs> I'm reverse crying. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> these guys are weird. Um, they have like a big crystal or quartz that glows really intensely. And it's like a big pyramid. Uh, and they even kind of use it as some kind of energy source or something. And there's also stairs carved into this pyramid looking thingy uh and they also have more of these vortex portal thingies that is connected to surface that haven't been used yet uh so the weird part is they say like there's this whole civilization down here that's like the the the, the glowy thing is their their energy or whatever and i'm pretty sure i haven't seen a single hut or house they live in there's just ruins everywhere, and I guess they live there. Do they sleep in the trees? <laughs> they sleep in the gravity crystal, you see. Oh, all of them? Damn, crazy. Yeah, you know, it's a pretty intense lifestyle, but it's great for your skin. Um, they live in their feelings. Oh. <laughs> they, they do live in their feelings. They live in feelings hut. You um, know? Or maybe they live on the ceiling, because we do see gravity reverse later. So maybe, like, uh, you know, they do the little reset, and that's... You know, that's how they distinguish work hour from home hour. It's not so much night and day. It's more just when the gravity crystal flips them. So on the so they're on the work side right now. But then when they flip, oh, they go up to the ceiling. Okay. And that's the home side. <laughs> that's that's the where they side. have sex. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't, can't, can't come up with a better solution. So, you know what? I'll go with that. Um, yeah. You know, you got to work with what you <clears> have. And then they do the whole eye contact thing, which I guess they did in Skull Island. I don't recall. Uh, so I can't remember Skull Island too well. So, um, but I they stand like really Jackson close. Yelling at a monkey. They stand really. You don't remember the Brie Larson classic Skull <laughs> Island? <laughs> Brie Larson was in that one. <laughs> I, I remember when Kong was on screen, when he fought the octopus and mm. ate the octopus in reference to another King Kong film. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, okay, you missed out on some pretty neutral chemistry between Loki and Captain Marvel. Yo, pretty neutral. That's there. better than Marvel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, literally, I can only remember that they were there. I think I was slightly um, malnourished at the time I watched it, though, so I don't think I was making memories too well. So that might be why. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, then they they, yes, they they stare very intense at each other, and it's like they go very close to our guys. And it's like, make eye contact, it's polite. I was like, oh, okay, I guess that was a joke and maybe a reference to the other one. I don't know. Uh, anyway, they mm -hmm. could use telepathy. Yeah, no telepathy. Tele telepathy. I'm just losing my mind. And then the big boss lady comes out of the big glowy pyramid. And it's like, Gia, you come over here. And Alina's, no, not my daughter. I'm so sad. She's going to be in danger. She's very, very protective of Gia. Unless it's going down this horrible place. That's fine to go with. Anyway. Um, Jojo. Yeah, I'm mad too. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I heard that as more of a romantic French growl for a second. And then I realized it was a dog. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, it's, it's really funny. It's like, oh no, they're gonna, she's gonna be in danger. I don't know if she's gonna be safe, but she took her down here anyway, even though she said this might be dangerous. But, you know, uh, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, don't worry. JoJo's a very safe puppy. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> That's the first thing a dog owner says to you. The next next thing is, they've never done this before. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um. And uh, yeah, the big boss lady is like, touch my hands, touch my, take my strong hand. And she puts the hands on her hands and they, they exchange memories. And she's like, oh, these guys are actually cool. We don't need to stab them with our glowy spears. And they get to go in the, into the pyramid. And there's like a big gl glowy spike and it's glowy. And I had no idea what was going on at this point. I was like, that's Grab all happening. Crystal. That's a big crystal. Yeah. Yeah, don't you thought I was joking, Chad? No, there is a big gravity crystal that flips gravity, but gravity flips when the gravity flips. Grip gravity, gravity, gravity. <laughs> they did the memory store. No, no, it was more like a montage of them exchanging things. So he goes like, "Booby booby 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 doo," little pictures, and it's like, "Oh, we're cool. The, these guys are cool," or something. Uh, it wasn't quite as bad, but it's very similar. Uh, but yeah, this the, this is where the SOS signal came from. They kind of did it with like gravity and stuff, as we already pointed out. Meme is very invested uh, <laughs> in dick. Oh, was I not muted? Was I not muted? No, I thought we, I was muted. We could hear all the dick, 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 dick. Yeah. dick. I was... You were repeatedly saying dick. It was, uh, <laughs> it was super I thought I was muted. I thought I was just vibing. I was vibing. Vibing. That was a Nickelodeon thing, by the way. Sounds Only like instead of Nick, with a lot I replaced of it with Dick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's material you're not ready for. That's the muted material. You, that's the that's the warm up stuff. Mm. The I real think, yeah, shit. Make, making any connection between Nickelodeon and Dicks right now might not be the best call. <laughs> DSP vibes hey. too. <laughs> 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 ah, this thing was this thing was on the whole time, huh? <laughs> well. <laughs> the camera's on. The camera's on the whole time, eh? I didn't even know. <laughs> oh man, I would sink to the bottom of my chair if that would happen to me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Have you had that I've like, had well, nightmares <laughs> where the webcam turns on and then it's like, oh, this is not how the face reveal is meant to go, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. <clears throat> you, you gotta just like roll a uh, turn into the skid, just be like all right, everybody. Um, this is. Uh, thank you for watching my stream. Uh, this is how I will be announcing my OnlyFans. <laughs> Metal, you did it on Tuesday, don't you remember? But I wasn't even at home on Tuesday. I was still on the way back from Austria. Who was in my house? Did DSP stream from my house? Is that why it so smells DSP... like snort in here? <laughs> <laughs> It was DSP the one that um, thought he had stopped streaming yeah. and then he started joking yeah. it and then it was like AMA <laughs> ask me anything caught fapping. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is where the, the the vest meme comes from because he started doing a vest goal. It's like if we <laughs> get that many tips, I'm going to wear the vest and it actually made him a lot of money and he's been trying nice. it ever since and it never worked again. Yeah, you got to you can't use the same trick twice. You know, you got to mm -hmm. shake it up. Mm-hmm. Um What are they doing? Oh yeah, so there's like oh the SOS signal came from here and this is probably also the reason Godzilla is riled up and uh because they were be they've been asking for like help and stuff because things are happening. And then Bernie says they already live in a monster hellscape. What could possibly scare them? And then Eileen says they can understand everything you say. And I was like okay why why do you know this why do they know the language was this established in skull island is it just because they can read your memory i i had so many questions but they moved on so i moved on as well um <laughs> they just it, the movie does like all these things it's like this is how this works it's like but why though but no shut up this is how this works oh okay uh then we get like a really short scene of Kong and Mini Ape crossing a big skeleton to go to a scorched earth territory kind of thingy. Uh, and then the scene ends. 
this is where we go to evil lands apparently but now the t again the team gets led to what i called earlier as well already the exposition chamber because now we need to establish the, who the big evil is and why everything has been happening as it's been happening and uh, basically it's like oh in the beginning hollow earth was in harmony with the service world the titans were guardians the great apes were the protectors of the people and then uh, there was one ape everything was... changed when the fire nation attacked exactly uh then the the one ape was desperate to conquer the surface and uh let the let the world into war against uh the one they call the monster that made a star or something obviously they mean godzilla uh and in case you didn't realize trevor says godzilla i was like yes thank you godzilla. please fuck off uh and then they imprison them in the fiery tomb, which is where Kong is currently going. And then the false king remained obsessed with reaching the surface world and the uh, Iwu clan. That's actually what they, they call the Iwu. I forgot to say that, but nobody gives a shit. And uh, Iwi, you uncultured swine. Well, then the transcript I copied from online is wrong because it says Iwu. <laughs> then it's Iwa. It's the Uwu clan. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like oh they call them scar king it's like oh that's the evil man okay um yeah that's that's uh that's a part of the transcript i found so that's basically word for word what what they like they they like this little cave that they illuminate with some glowy flames and it's like oh look at all these carvings on the wall and eileen just goes around and tells the whole story just by looking at the at the carvings, uh, which is funny because she just does it in the proper order and everything. Like she already knows or just read it off a script. <laughs> anyway, Kong and Jr. arrive at some ape slave camp. I don't think there's another way to call it. That's just what it is. <laughs> and Kong's like, I don't like this, how these apes are treated. So he stands up for them and starts fighting with. So it's kind of funny. He starts fighting some of them, then like it was like, oh, there's the boss ape of this camp. I didn't realize this was supposed to be Scar King, because he just looks like any other ape in this, just a bit taller, but not by a lot. So I thought this was just like a mini boss. He's the one with the spine whip. Yeah, he does, he has a spine whip. He has, he, he kind of wears it like like the the Kling, Klingon uh uh like uh, scarf thing, not scarf. What's the, that's a proper word for it? Charles? Like sash. the sash. The, like the sash. That the sash. Have, yeah. Right? It looks like yeah. he has one of those, but it's like a like a spinal whip thing. Like it's a whip out of bone, and he has like a blue stone on top at the top of it or at the end of it. And it's very sharp and pointy, and it cuts uh, it cuts Kong. It's like ouchie! It's that's sharp and bony. Uh, and then they they have like a scuffle, which is fine. But again, it's like this weird human like combat where the one has a whip, the Kong has his axe, and it's like. I want them to smash each other's faces in with their fists. Like, I want it to be much more animalistic. I think that's way cooler than this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, See the new Planet of the Apes films for reference. And the weird thing is those films would have the excuse for the fighting to be more human because they're smarter than that. But, uh, yeah, yeah, weird. Anyway. Um, but, yeah, they fight. It's, like, I mean, for, it's animated fine. Like, I don't mind it. I just... It just feels so weird, human. I don't, I don't enjoy it as much because of that. I just want them to beat the piss out of each other with fists, like more animalistic. I want them to take think. a piss on each other. Yeah, yeah, just throw shit at each other and everything. Uh, they have like a bit uh, back and forth, and it it goes to like a stalemate. And I was like, okay, what's what's happening now? And then Can you imagine if go if King Kong threw his shit in like a human <laughs> city. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> what a way to go. He just gets squished by a human by by a huge Kong poop. Do you get do you get crushed or drowned? I guess it depends on the consistency, right? It depends what he had for dinner of last night, yeah. This. Yeah. You might just get an infection. Well, <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's fine, I didn't want to sleep Ooh. this no tonight anyway. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Uh, the the true cost of kaiju fights. Um, oh, talking about kaiju. Oh, talking about kaijus. Uh, it goes to a stalemate. I was like, okay, what are we doing now? 
the Scar King tells other apes to stop the magma flow and they release an ice titan monster, which is called Shima. Uh, and we we get more talking by Eileen uh, from the exposition chamber that this is the ancient titan Shima, which, Shima, which he caught somehow and is now controlling Shimu. with pain. And the, the blue crystal pain. at the top of his whip is the pain remote control, apparently. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's, it's Use a, the pain button. It Pretty much. That, that, I mean, it, it's really weird. So the way they set it up, it, it looks like he has to actually like do something with the blue stone. Like point it, it's like, ah, do my bidding, blah, blah, blah. That's why I call it a pain remote control, because it's like, Explain what you just said. No, that's all you get. Yeah, so, 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 Swal, I gotta describe it to you. So, imagine yeah. like a really like like someone has like a really edgy Harry Potter cosplay, <laughs> and they're really trying to cast a Vada Kedavra at you. But because it's a cosplay, you see, you know, it's just like a little LED in a in a crystal because they made a little crystal wand because they're edgy and it's like glowing but it's not really doing anything because it's a cosplay and then Shimu is in on the act so Shimu's going like blah, blah, I say blah. and that is how a Shimu do precisely <laughs> <laughs> oh god it's just so the reason I point this out so specifically he points with the pointy blue stone at shima shima reacts to it and then does things for scar king because i feel like they switched the rules on this because they realized it's stupid and doesn't work this way uh <laughs> but yeah also, also i just realized how's shima even still alive it's an ice titan that they keep in a fiery place behind a wall of magma. I feel like that fucking thing would have died ages ago. Just by not being in its environment at all. What do they feed that thing? Does it Radiation. Use, does it need energy to use the ice beams it shoots? I don't know. Like these like it's weird because like they established like Kong and his species, like, they're titans as well, and mm. they, like, absorb radiation, but they they also eat food, even though Godzilla, uh, uh, like, they established in the first film that Godzilla just eat like, basically absorbs the, the, the Earth's ra um, ambient radiation, mm -hmm. um, and that's all he needs for his tum-tums. Um, and then, like, he gets extra radiation if he needs it, but usually he only needs that for his tum-tums. And I guess that's how he survives in cold. But like Ice Titan, does that work different? Does it? Does he? Does it just absorb the the ambient radiation because it's closer to the Earth? Mm -hmm. um, you know, there are many questions that that would be interesting to explore. Um, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of like, I'm, you know, I don't like King of the Monsters. I do like that they kept Ghidorah's. <laughs> origin extraterrestrial because my god i was so scared that it was going to be like oh every fucking monster in this universe is going to have a single origin fuck right. off no uh -huh. yeah it's going to be so boring <laughs> if, it, if you do that so yeah i think um we, we need um we do i would like some deeper exploration of, of what they're setting up that would be like nice you said but if you consider yeah. that it doesn't matter because it looks really cool you know you know i did I did consider that, oh, okay. and then I punched that side of me, and no, then my good, hands got bloody with my own blood, but no, it no. wasn't blood because it was me inside of me, and it was existential, and then I woke up. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, the Scar King uh, controls with pain. It was like, here, pain, now shoot uh, Kong. <laughs> and then... I was like, ah, I hate pain. I better shoot Kong with my ice lasers. And then he blocks it with his hatchet axe thingy. But his arms get frozen and now it's all fucked up and you can't use it anymore. So his, his, his arm is out of commission. Uh, yeah. There yeah. is a somewhat interesting subversion there because you see the form of the beam. You're expecting it to just be a Godzilla beam, but then the ice 
starts to go around the axe. Was like, right. oh, the, oh no, the axe is useless. Fuck, it's only for Godzilla Beam. This is not Godzilla Beam. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Chad, in case you, you don't know, the, the, the axe he found in the last movie I can absorb radiation from Godzilla yeah, Beams. It's, it's very useful. It's made out of one of those Godzilla dorsal fins, so mm. that's why it can do that. Yeah. yeah, he's got a big Godzilla spike axe that acts as a shield also. Yeah, yeah. which is, in interestingly, that's one of the few <clears throat> times the film did not just go... I'm pretty sure they did not have a line in the last film that was, like, talking to camera going like, oh, my goodness, this 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 axe is made out of the same dorsal fit as Godzilla. I wonder if it can absorb the same radiation. It just allows it to speak for itself. And that's becoming an increasing rarity, so I must point it out when it happens. Unless mm. it didn't happen and my brain is filtering out that exposition, which could also be a possibility. I'm running out of breath. Why did I not breathe? I would look... <laughs> Why did I not breathe? Breathing's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Um... <laughs> so, are we going back to the characters and they uh, talk more about... Uh uh shiwa and that's where the, she points out oh that uh, shima was the titan that caused the last ice age <laughs> they, <laughs> just, kills dinosaurs. they just throw that in there it's like why <laughs> well you know it's kind of like how there were monsters <laughs> giant monsters walking the earth for the majority of earth's history but we didn't know about it until uh, right now <laughs> or it's... it was covered up and like, how would they? Uh, oh God, sorry. Like, how would they know that it caused the ice age if they're just encountering this thing for the first time ever? Well, they carved it into the it exposition the cave. <laughs> <laughs> the wall said, like in in perfect Swahili, <laughs> "Ice age." The okay. ice age. Who caused the ice age? In perfect Schwarzenegger. Shima. <laughs> Shima, I'm gonna fuck you. Uh, so yeah, basically the tribe has been calling for help because Kong is now chilling down here and because he's looking for his own kind, it's just a matter of time until he would find the fiery prison of the Scar King, even though he's not really imprisoned, he's just down here chilling and can't find a way out of this place. I, I guess it's a prison, but they still allowed him to just enslave the rest of the apes, I don't know. It's a weird... Yeah, it's a weird thing that's going on down there in hollow earth i, I will i will uh I, I will point this out so that other people don't scream at you later um mm -hmm. uh, technically they it isn't it is a it was a prison until that sinkhole conveniently appeared in kong's territory down to the subterranean part uh, okay. of the hollow earth i see and so I he was see. imprisoned in the subterranean and now he's not in the subterranean okay so. fair, fair enough oh I guess. yeah i meant i i, I was like <laughs> Well, the second they opened up and said the words, now we're in subterranean hollow earth, I'm just like, what? what? <laughs> what? Well, you like, know, the, it, it's kind of like it's in the it's in the center piece <laughs> between the... It's like, it, it, so hollow earth and regular earth are like the two sides of an Oreo, and the subterranean is like the gooey center. Mm. Okay. Gooey. S yeah. So let's think about that. center. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Uh, but yeah, but now the, the the that means the Scar King is going to do some shenanigans now, and this is also why Godzilla is charging up because he is feeling there's some shenanigans going on. And it's just, it's just weird because they don't even know what's going on, and Bernie's like. Godzilla barely survived last time. What is he gonna do against this threat? It's like, I don't know, he was fighting like a mechanical monster. This time it's just another flesh monster. You don't know what the power levels are. Like, what are you talking about? Bernie is very smart. Uh, <laughs> like, maybe he'll be fine. We don't know. Uh, but anyway, the tribe knew that this uh, is, is gonna happen. and and But they also know at the end of the world... Someone of their own will return to awaken Mothra, and it has to be someone from Skull Island. And oh, who I wonder who that's going to? Oh, it's Gia. It's Gia. Gia is going to be. How convenient! McGuffin. That's yeah. That's fucking kill me. I was like, God, we were actually doing this really lame shit. Oh, we need this person to do a thing so we can survive. It's like, oh well, Gia's right here. 
Like, okay. Sure. Yeah. Oh my god, this girl this to is the key to everything. It's all prophecy, guys. It was prophesized. Lisa Al Gaib! <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I gotta emphasize this to all of you. You know, for those who are familiar with the Mothra mythos, again, once again, no, Mothra does not hatch into from an egg and go into a larval state. This is not a new, like, generation of Mothra. That was like, because even though King of the Monsters established that uh, a Mothra egg was found somewhere, we're going to ignore that. We're mm. going to ignore that, that that part of the, the credit sequence. That's not canon. Yeah. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> instead, <laughs> we're, we're going, fuck you, uh, set up and pay off. Um, so, so instead, what she does is she climbs the, the, the gravity temple, and then she goes up to... Was it the gravity crystal? I can't even remember. But like, then she goes up and she touches a thing, and then Mothra spawns, like yeah. manifests, like a reverse snap, like glowy, glowy, and then oh my goodness, a moth is there, and it's Mothra, and Mothra is back, baby, and she's gonna be the great negotiator, and just in time too. Yeah, I mean, this is a oh, bit, a bit further ahead. It's not happening right away, but yeah, you're you're right. That's what I, she 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 climbs up this very tall staircase uh, of the of that pyramid, uh, which is double funny because it's really large, and she's not even <laughs> out of breath when she is up there. She's like, "All right, I'm up here now." Like it's it's a lot. That's gonna take some some energy, and she doesn't even touch anything. She just holds her hand out and it starts glowing, and then Muffer's like here I am. Like, there's no struggle or anything. It takes, like, a couple of seconds. It's like, oh, that's... That's... That that happened. So, yeah, Mothra yeah. just spawns out of nowhere, and it's just like, okay, cool. Yeah. It, like, and this is really weird, because, like, in, like, tradi like in uh, most Mothra iterations, there's, like, a mystical element. Like, Mothra is, like, um, almost like a goddess-ish, like a, yeah. a semi, like, um, ambiguous sort of um, kaiju, whereas, like, uh, it's not really, like, I got a natural origin. It's more like a defender of nature sort of thing. Um, and they have the twin fairies, which is kind of fun. Um, but uh, <laughs> there's no real, there's no real mysticism in this world. So it's really weird that they're suddenly throwing this ability for her to respawn in this yeah. way here without establishing that that mystical side of it. It's um, it's like they wanted to have that, but they didn't. Someone was stopping them from committing all the way. So you have this half and half shit. Yeah. It's also worth pointing out, it's not like uh, Gia has been getting uh, any training in any of kind of power or anything. She she got, her tribe got annihilated when she was way younger. Now she's back here and it's like, you are the chosen one. You are Wadib. You are Lisa Al Gaib. Uh, hand, hold your hand out. Oh, Mothra spawned. All right, cool. Thanks. It's like, just... It, Gia exists, Mothra spawns. That's basically what happens. It's just really weird. Um, but that's not the only useful thing she's that she's here for. She's very useful, by the way. I mean, Mark wasn't joking when he when he said she's a walking MacGuffin. Only walking, yeah. not talking. She's only walking. Well, it's deaf, doesn't talk. Get it? Gets yeah. Very funny. Uh, I'll shut up. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. The disabled don't matter. <laughs> Uh, 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 oh yeah, Kong is now running away because uh, you know, he's getting chased by more apes after getting cornered and having his arm fucked up and everything. Uh, and he, he gets cornered where, the, where there's some kind of trap, which I assume those apes put in there. Uh, and they, <laughs> they have crabs. They, <laughs> sure. Uh, as, uh, he's he's just cornered and he, they're about to activate the trap. It's like, oh, look out! This trap is right there. So they go over. It's like, oh no, they as smart as Kong, but also Mini Ape Kong followed them and he start he, he activates the trap manually, and the stones fall on them from a great height and they make it out alive. But one ape survived. No, and he booga, follows booga. and he follows them. Um, because they are going somewhere, which we where we'll see soon enough. Um, we go back to Godzilla. He's absorbing all the power, just chilling in Tiamat's lair. Uh, 
because there's stored energy in there. I don't I don't know how any of this works, but that's they cut in there for like a couple of seconds. Like that's what's happening anyway. Back to our very interesting human characters. Uh, because Ugh. Gia is now down there. She's having fun with the tribes because like oh she's home. She's with them, with her own kind. And then uh, because we have to talk about more of this drama, like I didn't even mention it because it doesn't fucking matter in the in the context of the movie. There's like this thing going over here. It's like, oh, I don't know if I belong. I just not feels like home. But at least like, you're my home. We're like family, blah, blah, blah. And it's all very kind of drama-ish like. And it's just... Yeah. Like, it's so lame. <laughs> There's an idea there. It's just it's not really like they don't do we much haven't, with it. It's yeah, because we haven't done this circle. since they first mentioned it in the beginning of the movie. And now all of a sudden Aline sees her here having fun. It's like... Oh, when I became a mother, I would I say I said to myself I would sacrifice everything to do right by her, but I didn't think I'd have to give her up. Ah, uh, uh, so sad. And Trevor says, I don't know, you don't know. And maybe she just wanna hang out for now. And it's like, uh, yeah, but she said she didn't belong. It's like, okay. And that's already the scene. We just we just remembered for a short second that we did something in the beginning. And it's like, oh, let us mention that real quick so we can. Uh, uh, do the 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 conclusion of that later in the movie with another couple of sentences because human characters. <laughs> you don't. Uh, uh, have you considered that we needed more of podcast man? Oh, oh god. god, maybe <laughs> human. My brain's shutting of... down. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep it together here. <laughs> maybe maybe like the, maybe the villain of King of the Monsters has a point. Maybe maybe man yeah. needed to be wiped off the board. <laughs> King Ghidorah, take me now. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, anyway, very sad. Uh, moving on. Uh, oh, yeah, there's this thing. It's like something, something. Uh, Trapper says to Bernie, he's like, oh, you shouldn't re release the footage because isolated tribes and stuff and they wouldn't be left alone. And they start to do something here where I thought they would do like the narc where you realize, oh, maybe I shouldn't release this footage, but this never comes back up again. And it actually just leads into a joke. Uh, because he says, you know, you sec you saved the world once before. No one can take this from you. Which, now that I've seen the other movie, is like, he didn't do anything. But he also said, Bernie says, oh, can you say that uh, into the camera again, please? So I can have it for my blog. And I was like, fuck, I hate this fucker. Fuck that guy. Uh, He's the worst. Why He's wasn't worst. he to buy the plant? Yeah. Why? That would have been cool. Uh, I bet he was tasty. And then they also see the tribe controlling the barrier by moving the stones around because they change the gravity of the things and that's how they run the city. That's what he says. I don't know how any of this works. They just say it and that's how it works. All right? Don't ask me. I can't, I can, I can't even guess. Again, I haven't even seen houses or huts where they live in, so I don't even know what they do down here. Uh, like I said, on the ceiling. Yeah, I mean, I know that now, but I didn't know before. <laughs> Oh, that's a good point, Brad. You need my wisdom to enlighten you to the <laughs> intricate state of e <laughs> housing. Uh, oh, e housing is not where I thought we'd be discussing on this show. Well, they, yeah, they pretend you'd... like they're this amazing magical tribe that can like all, all this crazy shit, but all they do is activate the barrier and run around and move things i was like okay where do you live can i see more of your things but no we don't we don't get that they didn't just say this is what they do and this is how it is we don't explore any of it and it's really lame by the way their camouflage really lame because you know it's like usually camouflage disguises it doesn't usually like have a big glowing mm -hmm. ethereal property that signposts there's something behind <laughs> here yeah <laughs> yeah uh also why'd they touch that why did they did we did we did we quest was i away when we when when they touched the barrier and put their hands right in it in the strange glowing barrier oh i i, I feel I, like i did talk about this but yeah they they, they good, be, good. because uh trapper is just like poking and it's like oh this is weird like electric humming and whatever and then gia comes around just fucking rips it open <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a Mothra egg. That's, that's what I what thought, I it thought was. as well. It's like, oh, that's the Mothra egg. It's like, no, that's like the barrier that stops things. Uh, oh lord, we have fun here. 
but I, yeah, barely. <laughs> <laughs> um, but hey, well, anyway, I'm hanging, in there. I'm hanging in there. Kong is here now. Why? Well, uh, shut up. No, I I know why because uh, they say he just like oh he must have sensed Gia and I was like fucking whatever of course Jesus. he did I don't fucking know you just she's she she's she's just a fucking uh, the MacGuffin for the everything force now yeah she's like Gia yeah but have you considered that if you say bond, if you add some dyad. s's to Gia you get Jesus oh mm -hmm. yeah there you go I mean she's fucking that running around sense. like Jesus here in a second. But yeah, she's just yeah. a walking MacGuffin for sure. Uh, this is also another thing uh, in this movie: the, the 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 how far away is are things from each other? How long does it take? Because the, Kong is here now, which means the magma place is pretty close. Then, right? Like that that shouldn't have taken so long because Kong is fucked up, and they walked here very slowly. So they got here in what amount of time? I don't know. What does time even? Mm -hmm. How much time does did pass? I don't know. It it seems like it's all happening like in Game like of Thrones a, season eight. Uh, <laughs> uh, but they also have been followed by the surviving ape, and he looks inside the the barrier and sees, oh shit, there's a bottle there. I'm gonna tell my boss, and then I'm gonna get a promotion. It's gonna be great. I get so many bananas. It's awesome. Uh, well, I mean, you know. You gotta you gotta work for what your passion is. And <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. bananas are good. And, go, and then he goes back and goes ooga booga, ooga booga, and then things happen. Absolutely, yeah. That was like funny because Travis like, how do they get here? And I think <laughs> Aline just says he must have sensed Gia. <laughs> like, sure they did. It was why not? And then Kong falls over, is weakened, but he also tells her in sign language, "I lost my home." <laughs> and this part was like, you can't you can do that. And I'm like, oh. But yeah, that's the thing you can do. Wouldn't it be do. great if that question was prodded a little, though? It's like, he must have sensed Gia. It's like, wait, why? My Gia senses a tingling. <laughs> does does Kong have the force? Like, there's... Wait, why Why would he Why would he be able to sense her? Why, I don't know. Like, well, they can speak sign language together. So obviously, you know, he knows when she's in danger. Yeah, you see, they took <laughs> the, the fact that the Titans can kind of sense each other um, through some vaguely defined thing. And then they were like, well, they can sense other things we make up, right? Like, mm. if it's not real, they can they can sense it. It's like they have this unreal sense. Uh huh. Yeah. My Kong senses are tingling. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but yeah, that that's how he made his way here. So that's very convenient. Uh, but also they let the other ape here, so he goes back and uh, maybe Gia is actually a titan. <laughs> Uh, oh, she's a oh, tiny yeah. titan. Her in power case... is not being able to speak. In, in, in... <laughs> <laughs> well, so in case you haven't realized that his arm has frostbite, Trevor's like, oh, that doesn't look good. That's that's frostbite. And I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, shut the fuck up. I'm not retarded. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. The, I, can, I can see Bode. I, it, thank you. Uh, and then we cut to the surviving ape already be at Scar King's lair. And there's like, okay, how much... Is it like next door? Is, are they neighbors? Like that it was very fast. It's like a, you don't get a t good sense of time. And it gets even worse here in a second. Um, at, this, at this point, is uh, uh, only at this point I realized that that is Scar King and not like, uh, like a mini boss. And I was like, wait, so this is Scar King. And this he's going to be the big evil man? Like what's the issue? Especially because you see Godzilla kill like two big ass monsters in like <laughs> seconds in this movie. I was like, just let him shoot yeah, Scar know. King with <laughs> the fucking laser and you're done -zo. Like, <laughs> I don't believe that he's that big of a threat. He's like another monkey. You're like, they, they were building him up in the marketing, like, oh, he's a titan hunter. He's, uh, he's like, he's the fucking, uh, he, he, you know, he's the thing that all Titans fear. Like, he's the big bad. It's like, oh, well, you got got to go have something going on. I mean, he looks like a monkey, but, well, go see. And it's like, no, no, he just has the pain crystal. It's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, he's the pain crystal. He's, he's, he's not like a brilliant tactician or like, no, pain crystal. Oh. Yeah. That's disappointing. 
Yeah. Like the only reason he's so dangerous is because he ha he somehow managed to capture Shima. I don't even know how. They never say how. It's just a thing. It's really it, it's a uh, we'll, we'll get there in a second. So never mind. Uh, but yeah, Kong. Uh, oh wait, he, he's he's uh he's now on the way to the tribe place and attack it with Shima and more other ape soldiers. Um. But yeah, Kong's armor is still fucked, and they need to take care of it. Well, lucky for go, go Kong, gadget, ape cast. lucky for Kong, they have since Mecha Godzilla, they have been working on augmentation for Kong, which they call Project what? Powerhouse, yeah, like... which is a big fuck of gauntlet slash exoskeleton for the fist to help the, out. These these are products that don't exist for humans, by the way. Like, no. <laughs> Uh, so the, the it's a gun that it was made to help Kong to be stronger against threats like this. But also uh, for you some, you know what the technical term for the glove is, though. If you want, because there is a it is an acronym, so it's the PP Bio Enhanced <laughs> Anton. So it's the Bio Enhanced Anatomic Seismic Thunder Glove or oh. Beast Glove. Or oh, sure. I thought you were doing a meme because Project Powerhouse is PP. No, I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm looking at the wiki. Oh, okay. Well, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but also, so the, the I'm having a seizure here myself now. <laughs> they build this glove, but it's not. It's they say it's almost done, but they cut the funding, even though it's it is done. Like it is already done. It was basically finished, and they already transported here to Hollow Earth to test it, even though they cut the funds, and it's also in the base that's wh where everybody died, so they can get it very easily. What the fuck? Oh, you have this glove almost ready? Mmm, yeah, I cut the funds. But still get it down for testing. So, what? And when they... And you think, like, oh, it's almost nope, done, so it's probably going to be... It's, it's probably going to be a thing where it's going to be... Uh, malfunctioning right and it's gonna make trouble for because like no it works perfectly fine it works really really well actually uh yeah but have you considered that they needed to give kong his lightning powers from the original <coughs> king kong versus godzilla oh well okay i didn't think about that so yeah i mean you got me there you got me there yeah uh mm. so tra so is it more time weirdness going on Trepper walks back to the ship, which is somewhere still where Mikhail landed it. Probably hours away. Then he flies to the outpost where he can where he just grabs the gauntlet, which is in its own fully automatic thing that attaches to Kong's arm. Which is also luckily the correct arm that got hurt because it's on the right hand. And not a left-handed one, so that's all very, oh, that would have been awkward. very convenient. And yeah, they're, they're probably gonna. That's probably gonna take hours to to do this. Like I don't even know. He he gets to the place, and then it's like, oh, I'm gonna look around. Then we just cut for him to hit, to him being back at the tribe and just having that thing in tow, in tow clicking, the, pressing a button, and then it just attaches to Kong's arm. And all they need to do is activate it now. Uh, and it's all fully automatic, so they need, don't need any manpower or anything. It's just... It just works. But they cut he funding. He loves the power glove. It's, it's so bad. It's also also not finished, even though it is finished. And already ready to deploy very easily. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. Uh, but it doesn't stop there with the uh, <laughs> with the convenience. Because while, while the bad guys are coming closer, they activate the gauntlet. And this was clearly ADR'd in. They activate the uh, the gauntlet. And while it's happening, the Trapper says, Oh, these injections should heal the frostbite quite nicely. I was like, what? <laughs> why does it have injections in the first place? And why do they heal frostbite? Yeah. You know, I, I, don't you... It's also instant. Like the, the the healing is basically instant. It takes like a couple of seconds, and he's back to back to full power. Well, more power actually with the thing. Uh, 
How could you predict just, any of this? I just love how superfluous it makes the the gauntlet as a whole. It's like, oh, well, like obviously it's useful, but like you know, I thought you were setting it up as like a cast that happens to just make him a bit stronger. But mm -hmm. no, it's just like it's just kind of a bonus to having his cross crossbite frostbite completely healed my brain it's not on um yeah so oh, here we go so it's not only so it doesn't seem to be a proper exoskeleton because the frostbite's getting healed it just powers him up apparently and looks cool ish uh yeah very epic uh, uh instant healing it's a very useful tool but they didn't finish funding because it's not useful enough even though it's finished i can't i just can't get over it they say they stopped the funding it's almost finished but then they just put it on it works perfectly fine it's definitely finished and it never malfunctions while they fight well i'm it. sure they tested it out on other skyscraper sized gorillas sure <laughs> of course they did yeah and they're setting up mecha kong clearly no oh, god please don't in true fact mecha kong predates mecha godzilla so you know he's overdue but they got to get the mad scientist in as well to do mecha kong i think but they already did that maybe they do the reverse thing where mecha kong is the alien robot now and then gigan can come in and then i can smash all my action figures together and that'll be cool Yay. <laughs> <laughs> boy oh boy um but so the, 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 oh, uh Kong oh, I'm sorry, back. Mechanic Kong. Mechanic Kong. <laughs> <laughs> so Kong is back up, but Gia's like, y we need help. Just going to talk to him in ASL again, ALS, whatever. Uh, ASL. And Kong's like, okay, I'm going to go grab Godzilla. And he just jumps through one of the portals and uh, comes through the floor in Egypt right next to the pyramids because we need to destroy more historical... Uh, monuments and sites on planet Earth. So I want to point out something funny here. So they had the opportunity for a contrivance here, um, and they technically didn't take it because they're actually... Because you're thinking like, oh, it's going to be so convenient. Kong is just going to end up on the part <coughs> of the world that Godzilla's on. But no, they're still on, like, opposite sides of the planet. It's just that Kong roars really loud, and Godzilla hears the, the roar of Kong... So Godzilla's like, oh, I'm gonna fuck you up. So mm -hmm. Godzilla does a does a sprinter's run and then dives like a beautiful swan into the ocean. <laughs> it's it's majestic. It's beautiful. It is, you know, he is an Olympic diver. Yeah. Um, you know, swan dive into the best time of your life. And then he swims and he roars and they roar and he swims. And then King Kong is all like, no, bro, I don't want to fight. And he's just like, oh, fuck you. I told you not to come back here last time. And then he's like, roar. He's like, no, bro, I don't want to. Fuck you. And then, and then he beats him down and then he tries and he's like okay if you don't want to talk godzilla i'm gonna just knock you out and then godzilla like not gets knocked out for two seconds and then he gets dragged by his tail because King kong is all like you know what if you're not gonna come willingly i'm gonna fucking drag you down to hollow earth myself fuck you but then <laughs> godzilla's like nah uh -uh, i'm not gonna go to fucking hollow earth so then he shoots his laser at him and then he destroys the pyramids and then they start to stomp on each other and punch each other and it looks like it's gonna be all bad but no more Mothra comes, and Mothra's like, Godzilla, what the fuck are you doing? It's just like, well, Mothra, I thought you were dead. It's just like, yeah, you need to stop. You fuck, we got more monkey down there. You need to get monkey. And they're like, yeah, okay, dear, I will get monkey. And then they roar, and that is how the scene happens. Yeah, that's pretty much how it goes down. I mean, I couldn't have put it any better. That was perfect. That's Yeah, that's basically what happens. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah like for real. He, he, I'm, and I'm not kidding. That is what happened. Excuse me. I'm gonna even do you one better because I can. So Kong is currently in Cairo, uh, and uh, Godzilla is in Gibraltar. Which uh, I'm just. Uh, how fast is uh, Godzilla supposed to be with, when he swims? Because um, uh, he's, a, he's at least speed. as fast as like an aircraft carrier, um, but um, yeah, Star Wars yeah, I'm not sure what his top speed, speed would be. Like, I guess he'd be teleport. faster in water. I mean, if we even take that, a flight from Gibraltar to Cairo is like ten and a half hours long, apparently. When I just do a quick Google, like I think yeah, he's probably gonna take a while. <laughs> But he just is there. See, they they don't they they do they make the mistake of telling us exactly where they are currently, uh, 
with a big screen and like just a direct connection between those two that's like 3500 kilometers or 2700 miles uh that's that's a that's a that's a long way but the way it's shown they they yell at each other from very far away and then like two scenes later they fight <laughs> <laughs> it's still daytime. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, and uh, so so for for the Godzilla aficionados. Uh, so you'll remember, um, Godzilla fans, that um, in the original Ghidorah, the three-headed monster, there's a scene where the twin fairies of Mothra translate what Mothra, Rodan, and Godzilla are saying to each other. Um, in that movie, because we get Mothra, the Mothra who's in her slug form, comes up, and Rodan and Godzilla are fucking each other up, but they need help to fight Ghidorah, and then we get the translation, and in the English dub, we have that very hilarious moment of uh, where she goes like, oh, Godzilla, what terrible language. So Godzilla is swearing <laughs> in that film. So we basically get that in this film, but without the translation for what they're saying. So they're just kind of looking at each other, like doing like they're like, you, you need to not fight. You need to like go down and fuck up that thing. And it's like, oh, okay, okay, fine, fine. Mm. And, that is, and that is how this film does. Apparently the, uh, the 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 flight is uh, is not that long. I I assume the thing I found is probably with changes, like with uh, uh, going around. That was just the first thing I found, so it's probably less, but it's still probably going to be a couple of hours for sure. Exactly. Uh, someone said in chat, I think like four hours or something. Uh, but yeah, that's still a pretty long time. It still looks like it's way quicker though. And I don't think the guys downstairs have four hours to spare. That's basically what I'm getting at. So we're just we're just downsizing the time, but the problem stays the same. Uh, yeah, they're, he's they're not they're a about, speedster. <laughs> they're about to be getting attacked. Like when Kong leaves, they're basically at the barrier door, uh, uh, ready to attack. Um. So let me see here. Uh, okay, we, yeah, before this, or before the fight starts, we have the thing that we already talked about where Gia is Gia's made a proper member of something so she can awaken Mothra. She goes up the stairs, holds up the hands like, I'm Mothra. So one thing I need to point out, though, because you you, you already said, me, uh, Mothra appears on the surface. Uh, something you didn't uh, add to that, uh, Gia Ooh. is there with Mothra, basically oh, yeah. chilling there. Meaning, she was on the back of Mothra, and that's fine to traverse. So I guess now it depends what lore we use, because apparently the the show says you need to be with a titan or behind a titan to go through the portals. But I, I, uh, I didn't uh... know that. That was news to me. For me, it was, oh, we need these extra things so we don't get squished by gravity. So I, uh, I mean, I guess it could be both, but like, like if you don't have a Titan, you would need yeah. the other thing. But like, it just seems like a very weird rule because mm -hmm. like, it feels like the the effect would still happen. It's just that it's not going to happen as hard to the bigger thing, you know? Yeah, because that's the what I thought was going thing, on. Go ahead. The whole <clears throat> idea of like portals to Hollow Earth to begin with, though, is only there so that they can explain why people didn't just dig down and find it. Well, the funny thing is that... Dug down. <laughs> that just goes back to the hole we have in Hong Kong currently that Godzilla just shot in the last movie. <laughs> yeah. Where they uh, where they flown in and out. Uh, I wonder what they did with that, but we we uh, yeah. not mentioned, so we forgot about that. Um, so, so it does make you wonder, like the super deep boreholes, the deepest we've ever dug, and it got too hot to keep going mm -hmm. for humans, and then it got too hard to keep drilling into. So it does make me wonder, like, what what are the causes for that in this universe, um, if um, <coughs> if there isn't any magma down there? Yeah. What uh, are volcanoes in this universe? Uh, titans. Yeah, I guess the magma could just be like the the gooey center in between, but then we don't mm. see the gooey center when Godzilla drills down. So I'm I'm confused. Yeah, it, 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 it gets, there's all kinds of problems happening when you start thinking about it more. Because there needs to be yeah. like uh, places where all the magma is, then there's places where no magma is, and yeah, as you already said, if you can just drill through without any problems, why do we, like what, at that point why do we even need these weird crazy portals if you can just go down? Especially because they just fly through there with uh, 
uh, fly through that with that shuttle pretty quickly in the last movie. So it's it's all kinds of weird. Uh, it's very God, weird imagine rules. being like in Hong Kong the day after the Mecha Gods lore attack, and then you fall into the hole, and uh, then you like, do you just it. get caught between two gravity things at that point? Like, do, 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 oh no, oh, both are equally valid. That's true. Yeah, you just get you just starve while you float in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Sad. Um. Uh, they also have this weird thing going on where they have like the the top pyramid and the bottom pyramid touch tips, and if that happens, that's like a, <laughs> that's like a, that's, that's some kind of EMP going on that stops things from happening. Uh, it's a gravity EMP, so it stops gravity temporarily, which results in cinema. Uh, yeah, the, the fighting cinema. Also, Trapper says, oh, I'm going to get some reinforcements, which are the electro flying birds from the beginning. And he gets like a metric fuck ton of them to stun the uh, the evil apes for a while in Shima. Uh... So, Chad, I've got to like, okay, so just for, because I want Swall's brain to melt. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to summarize this fight first with what? a song, Wait, but then hang, actually hang on, let me, let me see if I got all the human stuff out of the way, and then you can do your okay. magic with the fight. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you already explained the whole fight at, at the surface, because they just end up going into the hole and uh, starting to crash into Hollow Earth territory. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me see... Trapper said he's going to get reinforcements. I already said that. Pyramids, uh, they touch tips. That's uh, good-ish. Uh, yeah, Scar King is here. Yeah. They, and then they, riding Shimo. Yeah, riding Shima, uh, Shima. And they freeze the two pyramids, stopping from uh, touching tips, which is uh, basically edging. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Edging the laws of physics. Yeah, then Trappa arrives oh, with a uh, metric fun of these. You got a uh, pyramid tip. Why not? Why not tap tips? Yeah, with those flying I think it's birds. It's called docking. Uh, which again is X minutes, hours, days away. Who knows? Nobody gives a shit. And uh, but now Kong and Mothra and Godzilla are here, and uh, fighting is going going on. Big battle. So uh, take the stage, Mister Meme. Okay, so they burst out of the ground, which is actually the ceiling, um, because <laughs> of how things work. Um, and and then they start running towards each other, and Scar King and Shimo are like, oh, you fuckers are a fuck now. So they run towards each other, but then Kong gets on top of Godzilla and starts riding him like a pony. And then they keep charging each other, and Godzilla and Kong jump into the air, and then Scar King and Shimo jump into the air. They're about to do that slow-mo, like, kung fu shit. And then the gravity turns off and everything no. gets fucked all the debris goes everywhere oh, and pink, tails pink. get squished and godzilla is bouncing off the walls and king kong is bouncing off the walls and everyone is kung fu fighting the cats were as fast as lightning it was in fact a little bit frightening um and then there was some <laughs> expert timing when mothra swoops in to get the ship when it's going and going everywhere and 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 like there's then there's more kung fu shit with the with the apes and 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 they start fighting more and i just never thought i would see godzilla kung fu fighting is what i'm trying to say in zero gravity mind you and then like i think they slam down onto the ground or something i it's a bit of a blur in my head to be honest but like they kind of fuck shit up but then scar king goes up to the surface and starts fucking up rio at some point i think mm -hmm. i'm out of breath Oxygen's not reaching my brain. What year is it? Um, <laughs> oh, no, yeah. 2024, as far as I know. Less that, less oh, that, man. Uh, someone, fill it. tell me when we're in Rio. Uh, there we go. I mean, it's it's just, it just uh, goes back to back. It's just one big fight scene. Yeah, they, they like do two and two. Uh, doing all things. Mothra is doing support. She's webbing the, like the ad apes that are not boss ba battle monsters. Uh, all of Gia still on her back, I'm pretty sure. Um, Shima launches like laser rays into shit and whatever. It's uh, yeah, it's like a big old fight. Uh, there's flippy, they're, they're like flipping around. Gravity is off. All the, all that good stuff. Uh, I know. I guess it's kind of fun, but holy shit, does it? It's fucking. It's crazy. It's insanity. It's but absolute it's, insanity. So, like, even, even if this fight is fun, it, it's still like you had to sit through like two hours of <laughs> terrible movie to get here. Uh -huh. 
Absolutely, absolutely. It's like um, however much fun you're having, it's like, is it worth it? And my answer is no. Probably, probably not. But I did have fun. <laughs> We've got Justice League 2017 meme in here. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Fucking hey, hey, man. But you know, did you know that uh, the Justice League had a cro has, um just and Kong just had a crossover with the Justice League. Um, Amazing. With, and it was specifically the. Well, they use the MonsterVerse designs, but it's not the MonsterVerse versions. So it's like, and like, and God, I think the first issue, Godzilla fucks up Superman or something mm. and, and something. And then Gorilla Grodd later controls Kong. I haven't read them. I'm just <laughs> saying what I've heard. Yeah. I don't know. So many comics, more comic than I could ever read in a lifetime yeah. while I'm editing. The fact that y'all can't describe this telling me it's poorly filmed. It is pretty confusing. Because they yeah. start jumping at each other, and then the ice breaks between the two tips, and they stop the edge <laughs> and actually get to Coom. And then there's like EMP, gravity Coom everywhere, and they just kind of start floating. And it. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot to mention this. The Coom? I feel like I have done an injustice to myself. So, all oh. the way back when they were explaining the prophecy, they first had to load up a little thing with goopy goop. In order yeah. to get, I don't remember the purpose, but it was glowing white, mm -hmm. glowing white. And I wrote in my notes, magic cum shot. <laughs> Finally. Magic cum shot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's. Uh, I'll continue. I, I just, I couldn't let the world not know that magic cum shot made yeah, a cameo no, that's, in that's this fine. film. That's that 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 is yeah. very relevant. Uh, and is there yeah. is there any other kind? No. I mean, they use no more other. weird goops. It, 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 they go below the pyramids uh, to actually move these uh, these thingies, and they have like goop in there, and they put more red goop in there, and that's how this works. Because Bernie says so, and we're like, yeah, okay, I agree. <laughs> Thumbs up. He's, he's he's like this is like some chemical reaction and that's how the thing's going on. It's like okay, yep, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure, 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 sure. Why are you here? But sure. Um. But yeah, there's like they're, they're like fighting in zero g for a moment, and at some point the g's go backwards and they fall to the ceiling, which becomes the ground, and they fall through uh, there and uh, exit in another hole that hasn't been there before. And they yeet out of Rio de Janeiro uh, and start fighting there. Shima and uh, <clears throat> and Scar King arrive first, and Shima instantly just fires a, a, a laser blast into the, all of the buildings at the coast. Yeah. So that's already a Certainly ton of not people dead. Anyone. Yeah, no, no one died. Uh, Scar King is just <laughs> yelling, and then uh, Shima apparently starts more of the. Uh, more of Ice Age stuff, she shoots like a laser in the air and it's like clouds and shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's the she, whole she thing. shoots the an Ice Age cloud into the atmosphere and then Ice Age begins to happen over Rio. It's, it's it wild, man. Ice Aging all over Brazil. Pretty much, yeah. I Ice Aged everywhere. You know, I yeah. was frigidly, like, rigid. So like... the weird part here is now, uh, the fighters we currently have is Shima, Scar King, Godzilla, and... Uh, Kong and I was already when they were fighting downstairs like okay so Shima do you do you have like any means to do things by yourself and this is why I pointed out earlier that Scar King has to point at Shima and command her basically to uh, to do things so it's like oh Shima realizes there's like two other titans trying to attack the guy who's imprisoning me. How about I just shoot a laser at him for a second while he's distracted, you know? And then he just loses instantly because he's just a monkey with a bone whip, basically. And it gets really weird because now when, when they're in Rio de Janeiro when fighting at the top world, at the surface... It now becomes the uh, a battle for the blue stone. So Shima doesn't get uh, controlled anymore. 
And this is why yeah, the it rules the, the Thanos gauntlet. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but the thing is, the rules kind stuff? of flip. The way they present it is like he has to point th at Shima to do things, and he does that like two or three times in this fight as well. But maybe when he's busy getting his shit kicked in by someone else, maybe then Shima should be like, "I'm gonna attack him." Because he can do the thing. But no, it becomes like this whole thing. They need to destroy the blue stone so Shima doesn't get controlled anymore. So the rules well, are completely Skarkin, different. Skarkin controls her through pain, but it's like a hurt me more snake kind of deal. <laughs> hurt me more <laughs> dog. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. Like oh, the, the way they present it is like, it, it's like a temporary thing where he needs to do the thing and he, she needs to uh, obey so there's not more pain. But when you have like a two on one already and he's he's busy with things, like just just do it that way. The fight should have been over pretty quickly. But yeah, as I said, now they it's like the fight for the blue stone. So the control gets lifted. So it seems to like be a permanent thing, as long as the stone exists, she can't do anything on her own, Shima, that is. Yeah. This was the scene that cemented that Shimo is quite possibly the most adorable giant monster mm -hmm. in history i think it's just the look she like she's on the ground and then she sees godzilla and kong fighting cigar king and it was like oh oh mm -hmm. there are good people in the world oh <laughs> oh, oh yeah and it was like, a sweet the... moment <laughs> oh. but it's still not enough that it's only those those two because obviously we need a little monkey junior man to come in oh yeah because uh, Kong doesn't have his axe, and uh, Mini Abe is like, "I'm gonna bring you the axe," and he jumps into the into the portal as well, and he's the one who just breaks the stone. And when they break the stone, it's like a huge explosion as well. I was like, "What is this stone? What is this stone? Please, someone tell me. I don't understand the rules." And they clearly, so do you. So whatever. They break the stone. Everything is fine. They Shima shoots the. Uh, shoots scar cake freezes him while kong is holding him above his head and just shatters him on the ground and uh basically sub-zero fatality pretty much yeah, yeah. Hasta yeah. La vista, and baby. then <clears throat> let's not forget that godzilla shoots the ice age out of existence yeah, yeah. he does like a big uh, charged up red beam into the air and destroys yeah. the clouds Shoot and a giant a giant superpower beam of radiation into the sky <clears throat> and it's not gonna not gonna cause any problems it's just gonna undo the winter yeah he, he, he you know that's how you deal with the ice age um you know yeah. you shoot it to death that's how winter is yeah. coming boom no it's not winter's going <laughs> it's going yeah. if, if they had godzilla and uh you know game of thrones it probably would have ended exactly the same honestly like um the, those white walkers were kind of pussies um uh yeah uh possibly tens of thousands are dead in rio de janeiro uh but we don't give a shit because we had a cool monster fight happening that's where like when i saw them fight this so that so many buildings get destroyed they just shoot things into everything and i just started laughing i was like there's <laughs> so much death happening and we don't even acknowledge it <laughs> it gets even oh, it gets even weirder a little further on because uh, it's all like happy ending and all I could think of was the thousands of people that died in Rio de Janeiro, France, and Italy. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, by this point, I had had two people walk out of this theater. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. Well, they, 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 saw they, the, they saw the conclusion of the fight because now all we have to do is resolve the human drama, which is like, yawn. <laughs> Who gives yawn. a fuck? Um, because after the triple uh, triple attack team, the uh, the Scar King, uh, they go back to Hollow Earth, where G oh they Jima appears with Mothra at Hollow Earth, and she's just walking. She appears like she's the fucking Avatar. She has like this robe on, this like glowing shit from Mothra. It's like fuck off, <laughs> you fucking MacGuffin. <laughs> she's running well, around. She's, she's the Avatar, and you've got to deal with it. She's the fucking yeah. chosen one. Uh. Oh boy, it's really um, funny and bizarre. And I was like, whatever. You're the best. Uh, <laughs> you're the best, Chima. You're the coolest. You can. Can you? Can you make more Mothras? They're really useful. Yeah, um, make every Mothra. Make Batra. But yeah, the 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 drama gets resolved by Eileen. Like, oh, you probably want to stay here because this is your home. 
and it's your peoples and stuff and then it's actually a, 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 a throwback to the movie before that where she says you are my home and she says it to to her and they hug and it's ah uh, it's all uh, you know, <sighs> boring you know, but uh... And there's uh and then but Kong gets back to the Hollow Earth and he becomes King Kong. He, d- um, he does. And he gives Ooh, Shimu a little chin scratch. Yeah. And then the movie ends. Like the, I do actually like the idea of like him earning <laughs> the king and King Kong uh-huh. as an idea. Skull, though. <laughs> like, I, d- I don't know. I like I like um I like the idea of him finding his of like um if, of you know actually you have the, the lone... kingdom. Yeah, like uh, that sort of thing. Like, there's an idea for that story if we had focused on it, is what I'm alluding to there. But, <laughs> I think he uh, just takes the place the... because that's what he can do now. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, Godzilla goes back to sleep in the Colosseum. That's, uh, yeah, it's all. It's, it's, everybody's like hugging, it's happy endings all around. And, well, except the tens of thousands of people that lost their life because this is all happening and uh we don't care all is happy our protagonists are having a great time (laughs) god (laughs) and that's how the that's how the movie ends uh well i hope the government is taking over that operation and uh gets rid of all these monsters finally because they're not a good they're not good for earth or uh I don't know, shoot them into space or something. I don't know. Um, they're like they they portray us like these good beings, even though they clearly kill lots of people, collateral damage. They don't give a shit about humans. <laughs> it's just it's just so bizarre. This like this whole universe is bizarre and weird. Confuses me. There's a tribe in the Hollow Earth that has gravitational stuff happening. They can awaken Mothras, but only one of them, and it had they have to come from Skull Island. Why? That's just they say that's how it is. So I that's mean, aren't all the people from Skull Island from the Hollow Earth, anyways? Like, aren't yes. they all just like? So it's like <sighs> it's because the prophecy <sighs> or something. She's Lisa oh. Algaib, so she she gets to do this. It's like the, yeah. the the chosen one will come from Skull Island, so we better colonize Skull Island so that there's people there that can come back here. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I colonized Skull Island once. No, don't do it. It's a stanky yeah. now. Oh. And but, again, uh, the final shot of the film is uh, Godzilla going to sleep in the pyramid. No, not the pyramid, the Colosseum. The Colosseum, yeah. Because yeah, Italy owns Godzilla now. Then I think yeah. sees Godzilla and Kong as some kind of weird ally in humanity, even though they fuck shit up all the time, as I pointed out multiple times. Earth is a fucking hellscape of monsters that can appear at any time. Which is funny, but Bernie to say that it's a hellscape down there, even though the surface is not much better. Might actually be worse because there's like huge titans everywhere. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Hollow Earth is a thing which is connected through weird portals. This tribe down there, there's a. I, you figure, honestly, priority one should probably be just destroying the portals. Like, do whatever you can to make it so that people cannot travel from mm-hmm. the two Earths. Because then once you've killed all the monsters on Earth, I guess no more monsters, right? Because that's where they're all coming from. Uh, well, that's the Ghidorah idea. From from space. Godzilla, I guess. Like... Yeah. Well, Ghidorah came from outer space, though, so oh, you're kind of fucked either way. Oh, all right, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, I saw King of the Monsters in theaters. I didn't like it very much, so I did not th- watch it. Neither did I. When does Thanos show up to dab all over the monsters? I hope soon, but yeah. It's it's a fucking <laughs> the monster world is fucking wild and weird and the movies suck. Uh, it's fucking <laughs> horrible. It's such bad bullshit. There's like a couple of fun-ish scenes uh, or fights, but it's not worth sitting through the movie. It's fucking horrible. You should stay unless home you're a weirdo watch... like me. That's the only recommendation I can give it. <laughs> I just I recommend you go just watch Godzilla minus one instead. You, go watch you'll minus one. Enjoy right? that. Minus you'll one have just has as like much Godzilla fun, and you'll you'll also enjoy the story and love the characters. It's interesting. To, yeah. It's kind of interesting because arguably the the Godzilla in this version is probably way stronger than the one in minus one. But minus one is portrayed so in a way that's so dangerous and destructive uh, because yeah. they just go they go towards they just go against normal humans and they try their hardest to 
yeah. get rid of uh pull together the resources Godzilla. and solve oh. the problem as yeah. a community like it's it's pretty yeah. cool and this uh, is... the director of mine oh sorry no i just i just want to say like this is this is like a marvel movie but with uh, monsters it's i hate yeah. it yeah and it's got a shelf life because the director of Minus One says that, you know, he's because they're currently working on, like, the follow-up for it. And mm -hmm. He says that he really wants to explore the idea of having those, like, really fun kaiju fights, but to figure out how to do it in a really well-written way. That would be awesome. So, yeah. So, um, I would love to see, like, really really well-written, like, Ghidorah, Mothra, Rodan, all those yeah. peeps. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, That's the I'm, monster like, verse I'm... I want to see. Exactly. Yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm all aboard for that. Let the minus one guy do whatever the hell he wants at this point. I trust him. Yeah. He, he's doing, he did very well. Very, very well. Yeah. Um, and Mothra and Rodan started off as solo monsters anyway, so you can do whatever you want, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that's 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 Kong Silent X Godzilla. Uh, it's fucking dog shit. Don't watch it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's two hours long. Uh, watch like, the highlight reel on YouTube when it comes out. Yeah. That's watch, the, uh, about watch, watch the movie that we cover next week instead. It's it's way shorter and it's much yeah. better. Yeah. Go uh, watch A History of Violence. That was really good. Yeah. Um, if you watch it this week, Metal and I will be talking about it in the future. We will. We did actually uh, talk about it already, but you don't know. So it didn't happen it for you. It was the past for us. Although yeah. now it's the future for us if we want to listen to it, I suppose. Absolutely. Ooh, this is a meme stream that's like not seven hours long. <laughs> well, I mean, like this, but you know what it was? It was like, it's the reason I almost felt like I wasn't saying much in this episode because just this movie had so little to it that I actually cared enough to like give thoughts on. Like, I think Madam Web, I, I might have lucked out on that one by all the EMS stuff just really pissing me off. Mm. But this one, I was just like, <laughs> oh my God, this just sucks. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, anything to add to the movie? But uh, but I think we kind of went through it pretty thoroughly. Uh, Swan dive into the greatest Godzilla of your life. Absolutely. Uh, Monkey <laughs> Man is the way better monkey movie that's out now. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be checking that out uh, at some point. Um. But yeah, that's that's the movie. It's that's not really good. It's not very good. Uh, don't 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 watch it. Uh, but for now, let's look at the, some super chats here. Uh, we got uh, blank face becoming a bearded flame. Thank you very much for the membership. Uh, Seventeen months of member Heimers by Jose, and uh, just says mm, hey. monkey. I agree. <laughs> good old monkey Heimers. Uh, Slumpy with the 20 US. Thank you very much. Uh, I became aware of a tw uh, 2007... <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I'm Jover. I became aware of a 2007 movie named Stardust today. It looks like a fever dream and has Ian McKellen, Charlie Cox, Henry Cavill, and Mark Strong in it. Maybe worth a look I or think, passed uh, along as fun watch for you guys. Never I heard of that's it. A Mac I think it's a Matthew Vaughn movie, actually. Oh, God. We can't escape him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, it's got yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer, Robert De Niro. Is this the one or? Am I... I, no, I yeah, that's the it. one. I, I couldn't tell you anything about it. That is a, a okay. hole in my but... Matthew Vaughn lexicon. Stardust. Damn. Didn't mean that to rhyme, but it did. <clears throat> Damn, I was you know for some reason I was thinking of uh, the other movie I think that came out in two thousand seven, Sunshine. That's a very different film. Yeah, that's the Killian this... Murphy space movie, right? Yeah, it's where they need to reignite the sun. Yeah. Yeah, directed by Matthew Vaughn. We, we can't escape the guy. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, maybe we'll check it out. I mean, why not? Uh, uh, 70 months membership, Flim Flam Variety by Grump. Thank you. Welcome back, Metal. How was Grandfather's homeland? Uh, oh, yeah, I, I was in Austria. Uh, it was good. It was fun. Uh, went hiking a lot. Uh, I was very sore after those couple of days. And also sick, as I already said, because one of us got sick and infected all the other ones. Um, it was a good time. We went to the zoo as well. That like a zoo, like uh, in the like in the Alps, basically. Like you had to go up. There were like uh, feral cats and vultures and uh, bears. It was really cool. Uh, it was a cool zoo. Uh, probably a bad time to go visit that zoo though, because a lot of them uh, 
<laughs> we're kind of half asleep still because it was not quite warm enough. But yeah, it was uh, yeah. It was fun with fishies and everything. Got a lot of pictures wow. of ornaments. What I'm hearing is that you're an, you're a German of Austrian origin. I, I I can't believe the red flags just keep piling up. I'm I'm not of Austrian origin. I just went there no, for a vacation. No, the grandfather, the grandfather. But thing if was your a joke. grandfather is from there, uh, therefore he means origin. he means that it, the implication is that his grandfather is a specific person. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I uh, got five Canadian by Sparks. Thank you very much. Uh, Metal down to do a Team Fortress 2 Discord community versus match between yourself and random film talk who would win Fleems or Randos. Uh, I, I don't know shit about Team Fortress 2. <laughs> so I'll probably lose. I haven't played it in a very long time. I think I played it one time and never again. Uh, played a bunch of Team Fortress Classic, but not two. Uh, but I mean, um, I mean, we're probably gonna do some uh, community stuff anyway, especially now that I have the Discord. Probably gonna be easy to uh, uh, set things up. Uh, but yeah, probably wouldn't opt for uh, you know, Team Fortress because I don't know shit about that stuff. Um, anyway five us by james thank you very much reminds me of the pulp fiction writer giving the kono uh, suba movie five out of five gold stars and saying this is the reason cinema was invented return to monkey i actually know that tweet <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny was that um roger avery uh i said pulp fiction writer but i mean because normally if people mean tarantino they just say tarantino so I'm yeah guessing it definitely wasn't did. tarantino <laughs> he didn't yeah. tweet that <clears throat> Um, do, 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 do. Five years by Dark Fang. Thank you very much. Uh, Metal, don't you know that if every monster verse was like Godzilla minus one, it would be boring? No, it wouldn't. No. It, would, it would be a bunch <laughs> of well written movies. I mean, exactly. It's probably time I mean, it would be boring because... if it was literally the same story, but we're not, that's not the point of people that's not what people are asking for. Yeah. people are asking for more well-written stories of all varieties you know yeah we're not exactly. just saying make it lower budget in japanese like i mean there's been lower budget japanese godzilla movies for a very long time but uh what made minus one special is that it just had a really good script and really good characters yeah. in addition to having pretty good effects for its relatively low budget so i mean the budget i don't know the budget factors in and i think you can ultimately end up making a more engaging movie if you're strained on budget as opposed to being drowning in it like you know what i mean because yeah. like uh, marvel is sort of your biggest example of that now they've got all the money in the world to do stuff and what they ended up doing was just wasting a whole bunch of money on nothing instead of in a situation where you're constrained you have to actually use creativity to try to make something good and I think that's why um yeah the, the budget can sometimes matter but ultimately if you've got a good script you can make it on ten dollars or 500 million it'll still be a good movie yeah just yeah. need to manage your I, resources yeah so i advocate for having consistent standards and uh, working out what those are because then you can use them at any budget and uh in a way you won't be constrained by having too much budget if you mm -hmm. know what actually a good script looks like Absolutely. Uh, five pound by Animus. If you need a hand ripping this abom abomination apart, let me know. I just finished my 30 minute script about the monsters. Oh, I hope that went well. And hashtag justice for king of the monsters. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, I think None we, for me. I think we I'm, managed. I'm going dread on that. <laughs> I am the law. Uh, five years by James. The total difference between Godzilla 2014, Skull Island versus the recent movies are hilarious. Should cover those first two movies, by the way. <laughs> uh, I think the only thing I remember from Skull Island is the, th the scene everyone remembers. The guy who's just like taking those two grenades and was like, oh, I'm gonna get you, just gets fucking flung against the wall and explodes. That's funny. So you don't remember when they had a machine gun on top of the Triceratops skull going... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I really don't. It's been way too long. Um... Black Rooney with the two US. Thank you very much. I hate that uh, uh, GXK, oh, Godzilla X Kong, is more successful than Dune 2. That is a shame. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, uh. Well, I, I, I was responsible for one standard ticket to Godzilla X Kong, but I, I, I was responsible for, I believe, <laughs> five, five IMAX tickets for Dune 2. Because I went to see it three times and I took a friend and X Ray Girl on two of the respective ones. I mean, Dune 2 is not my most favorite movie ever, but I enjoyed it at least. I would watch it over this any day. <laughs> it's been my favorite movie of this year so far. I, I liked it a lot. I had a lot of fun with that movie. Uh, we got uh, 10 US by no one. Godzilla Minus One really raised the bar for monsters movies. Uh, Godzilla Minus One really raised the bar for monster movies for me. Yeah, I can totally see that as a great movie. Haven't seen this movie yet, but it sounds dumb and not worth the movie ticket. Thanks for saving me a couple of bucks. You got it. That's what we. That's what we do. Oh my yes. That's. Uh, we I'm... should cover Godzilla 1954. Oh boy. Yeah, man. That's an old one. Um. Oh yeah, it's a good <clears throat> one though. That would be an interesting experience. Uh... Oh yeah. But yeah, wait. It's probably gonna be on streaming at some point. Just watch it then, or check on YouTube or whatever. But I wouldn't go to the cinema for this. Um. No. I will like Ninja with the 18 months of membership of the Flim Flam variety. Mark, see you Thursday. Moodle, see you tonight. Ooh. Uh, is that someone that's going to be in Vegas? Oh, wait, who was it? Was it uh, Hyperbolic, Hyperbolic Ninja? Ninja? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, how's it going, man? Yeah, yeah. No, Vegas meetup. Thursday. Thursday and Friday, I think? Or Wednesday and Thursday. I don't know. There's two nights. I'll be at both, though. So. Um... I'll probably be outside. I, I tend to hang out outside. It gets pretty hot inside the bar. Mm. So even if you don't have a ticket, hey, go hang out at the bar and I'll probably be there. Well, I won't be in Vegas. I'll be here in my room, sad and lonely. No, you just, just got back from the stuff. mountains. <laughs> uh, hey. One day I'm going to be showing up on one of these meetups if I have enough time to prepare for it. <laughs> um... Let's see. Uh, ran out of channel names with the 10 US. Thank you very much. Moodle, fortify your mind. It's too late. There's only monkey. There's only monkey. Uh, Slumpy with the eight months of Flim Flam membership. Thank you. Please clip meme as the true rando rand. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And we got two bucks by Jose. Thank you very much. Speaking of one, kick ass Forge when? Oh, that's definitely going to happen. That's uh, that's pretty high up on our backlog list, I think. Yeah, we were thinking of doing it for the pre record for this coming weekend, but uh, I just ended up watching History of Violence and just told Metal about it, and then and we ended up doing that one. And uh, yeah, we, we do the pre records, though. It's not because we don't want to be doing one live, it's just because that's, that's a week that one of us is going to be busy, and we're trying to yeah. never miss a week. Yeah, and they've I been just Vegas, they've says. been more than I expected that uh, to be. Mostly because we uh, started doing this together, and it's like, oh, we both have like three things happening in the next two months where we need to yeah, be gone. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah uh, and I ended up missing two weeks because of um, the trip I took with my family, but that, that yeah. doesn't happen often. Vegas trip, though, I'm only missing one because this is the first week, the first Sunday of that weekend, and I'm leaving tomorrow. So. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm here I, for this one. I plan to visit a, a friendo for a while now. It's already booked and everything. I'm probably going to be back on that Sunday, but probably too late to actually start one. And I won't have the weekend to actually prepare something, so we're just going to pre-record one. Uh, I don't actually know which one. I might try to go one. see Monkey Man while I'm in Vegas, though. I yeah. feel like I can probably get a group of people to go see a movie. <laughs> probably, yeah. That shouldn't be a, a big deal. But yeah, that's where we. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as I already said, next next week is going to be pre-recorded. It's going to be a history of violence. Uh, go check it out. Yeah, David Cronenberg you... movie with Viggo Mortensen, and it's it's very very good. I strongly yeah. recommend it. It's like eighty minutes long too, so it will not take up that much of your day. Absolutely, and it's uh, jam packed with story and character. Definitely worth a watch. But before we get out of here, Mister Meme, what are you what are you up to? What are your flames? What how are your how are your spunks hanging? I'm I'm currently chained in Moller's basement uh, trying to get these um, um, EFAP TVs out. Um, like I, at the beginning, like I said at the beginning, I'm uh, I, I was meant to, this was meant to be done by now, man. <laughs> it was meant to be done, and then Premiere was like, "Nah, ah, you put a transparent layer in. It's gonna take like four times the time, so days are gonna turn into weeks." <laughs> and it's like, "Oh well, how about you go fuck yourself, Mr. Premiere person, man." 
spunkaloid. So, um, so, <laughs> so uh, I'm so that's chipping away. I've got six episodes done, seven episodes to go, and then um, the good thing about this is that it's it's allowed me to really think about like what is the mission statement for the videos. What is the uh, what what am I um what what do I want to achieve with my videos going forward? And I think it is you know I, I keep coming back to this word curiosity. I want to encourage people to think, but I also want to p encourage people to think outside of the box and to um, just get them interested in things um, and mm -hmm. to learn about different things. So I'm excited to to go forward with that when these fucking episodes are done. I I order because I tried to do the split thing, can't do it. So I'm, I'm just gonna commit myself to it and then full steam ahead on the full channel, baby. Ooh. So memes, uh, OnlyFans is gonna go live soon, as you all heard. It's gonna be yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> the new main channel. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, of course the link is down below. Uh, <gasps> yeah, uh, good stuff, good stuff. Mark, obviously you're gonna be in good old Vegas meetup. Uh, I guess that's gonna be your stuff for the next week, eh? Yeah. So I'll, I'll I don't know if I'll be doing anything on my channel, but I'll probably be around on other people's channels. You know, if, I don't know. Follow follow X Ray Girl. Follow me on Twitter if I'm doing anything. I'll probably retweet it. But yeah. yeah. Mostly in-person stuff, so, but there tends to be people being like, "Hey, we're on a stream right now. Say stuff." Yeah. And then you get to see me awkwardly nice, Jose. do nice. hot comedy. <laughs> Every so often, I've got a good line. I've got, I've got, I've got at least a few six out of ten jokes in me. That's pretty good. And, 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 and I'll, I'll get them out. Don't worry. Nice, nice. Uh, very well. Well, no, well obviously Simon just came. All the links are down below. Not mine, because you're already on my channel. You silly goober. Oh. You, 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 you almost fell for it. Uh, well, as you for me, I, I pretty much now have three weeks of no actual plans except being terminally online and uh, at work. That's that's gonna be my next three weeks. There's gonna be a lot of Dragon's Dogma streams because we're gonna do a forge on that at the end of the month. Twenty first, I think, was the date I said. So that's going to be fun because there are lots of uh, interesting things to talk about. Not only the game itself, but also uh, microtransactions, uh, performance, releasing a game at a certain state, etc., etc. It's going to be fun stuff. Uh, Swole is definitely going to join us for that one. I think you meant to invite someone else. Uh, or, uh, Mark, you wanted to text someone. We talked about it. Uh, you can let me know how that goes. Yeah, yeah, no, I've already got them lined up for it. Oh, okay. Well, For now I have that info as well. Sheepsidian. Yeah, well, like we got Sheepsidian go coming on. Never talked to the guy, so always good to meet new people. Looking forward to that. Big Dragon's Dogma guy. Well, there you go. <clears throat> Gotta fit right in because Swellpool loves Dragon's Dogma too, so... Uh... I mean, I don't think we're yeah, gonna. Yeah, I like have... it quite a lot too. I've got a lot of issues with it, but um, I am still playing it. I think it's uh, it's quite a good video game. But yeah. It's well, be, you I'm... should maybe wait to buy it if it's <clears> on the fence. I am uh, I'm definitely behind because of my vacation and then the sickness right after so there we go. Uh yeah, I'm just going to be chipping away at stuff, working on stuff and uh hopefully have some more infos very soon. Uh I don't know, maybe I'll be on some if apps and stuff. You know where to find me. You, you you goobers, you know where I am. You know what's going on for the most part. I'll be I'm going to be live a lot. I'm probably going to be live almost every day the coming week. I think I won't be uh, like definitely tomorrow and towards the weekend. Uh, I don't know. Maybe things come up. Uh, I'm gonna be in the office tomorrow, so probably not tomorrow. Uh, the day after tomorrow. I'm just talking in circles. It's getting late. Don't mind me. I'll be here for a bit. Uh, during the week. So yeah, go check that out. Subscribe the Fleems and Schleems. Uh, also if you haven't already, Discord link is down below. If you wanna talk to fellow Fleemsters. You're gonna click the button and you can talk to the Fleemsters. I'm I'm hanging out there a lot. I see all the messages, and if I don't respond, I don't like you. Anyway, um, that's it. Uh, you got anything I'm else, lads? Kong yeah. of War. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> Kong of War. That's anyway, good. thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks, Meme, for joining us. Uh, 
No Always worries. a good time. Uh, thanks for the Super Chats memberships, all that good stuff. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you live on the next Forge in about two weeks. But obviously a pre-recorded next one. Same time as always. Thanks for hanging out. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. Guitar noises. <laughs>